Let's go again for Sunday 40 action. Yeah, the boys, it is pouring down rain outside right now. Very me. Oh, we are on. Hey, guys, how you going? to the down Big House Sport. We are ready to rock and roll here for Sunday 40 action here. In round seven of the NRL, uh, we finish off the weekend, which has been a pretty crazy weekend so far. And we do get the Canterbury Bulldogs taking on the Newcastle Knights in a game that is really hard to predict. I'm not going to lie. I really couldn't confidently tip either of these teams in this game for good and bad reasons, man. You know, both teams have shown signs this year, but also both teams have been pretty poor at times as well. That's why it is 15th taken on 14th. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, there has been some positive signs from both these teams that I guess we could talk about, and uh, it, it makes it really, really difficult to uh, to predict. But look, yeah, obviously, guys, I know I was, uh, I was at the game yesterday for the Titans. I know that a lot of people are probably going to Shoot through comments and whatnot about it. Um, it is what it is. You know, you put in the effort. We do what we can. Uh, I, know, I know that there'll be a heap of people asking about today. So we're waiting to, to talk about that. But at the end of the day, we're still cracking on. So hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And let's get into this game. So the Canary Bulldogs, they come at this game in 15th position. Whilst the Newcastle Knights come at this game in 14th position. The uh, Bulldogs are $1.92 underdogs to the Knights at $1.88 favourites. So basically... There is no underdog. There is no favorite. It's pretty much even. I don't even know why it's not just $1.90, $1.90, realistically. I don't even know why there is technically a favorite there. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I would say that this is just a complete wash in regards to uh, who they think is going to win this one. Uh, now, last week, obviously, the Bulldogs came into this game and they had a very unlucky loss against the Storm. Uh, still, you know, uh, they're, they're maintaining that halfback. They're maintaining Hutchinson. I think he was a massive part of that why they lost. But I do think the Bulldogs were honestly the better team in that game. I thought they were a better team. Storm were absolutely awful, but still found a way to win, uh, which is just kind of what the Storm are doing this year. They're not winning games well. I don't think they've won a game by more than like eight points all season, uh, but they're just winning games well. So the Dogs, they gave it everything they could. They were close. I just think they're a halfback away from really starting to compete and be the Dogs team that we kind of want to see really start to uh, evolve uh, with this new direction they've taken in the last couple of years. So that was unfortunate for them. And the Knights, on the other hand, they had another really excruciating loss to the Sydney Roosters, uh, where it was controversial. Uh, but at the end of the day, the Knights just couldn't get the job done in that one at home to the Roosters. Uh, Roosters haven't been great so far this season. Actually, it's quite funny. Both those both these teams have swapped around because the Knights played the Roosters last week and the Storm played the Bulldogs last week. And then this week, the Roosters played the Storm and the Bulldogs have taken on the Knights. So funny how they do switch around there. But, you know, both teams coming into this game off a loss. Uh, both teams down that bottom end of the table. Uh, but like I said, both teams do have enough positives about them uh, to say, hey, listen, we, we, we're probably going to give this good old Red Hot crack today. This is at the Core Stadium in Sydney. Now, the ins here for the Bulldogs, Blake Taff, Curtis Marin and Maxi King all in with Kitsiona Kaltonga, Paolo Oasa, Fama Wasili, and Toby Sexton being the outs. The fullback is Connor Tracy with the wingers being Jacob Kiraz and Joshua Adokar. Uh, you got the centers of Bronson Sherry and Stephen Crichton, who is captain. Then you got the 5 8 of Matt Burton and the halfback of Drew Hutchinson. You go to the front rowers, Chris Patolo and Max King, with the number nine being Reid Marnie. You go to the back row, William Kickow and Jamin Salmon with the 13 being Josh Curran. You go to the interchange, Samuel Hughes, Bailey Hayward, Curtis Marin, and Blake Taff with the 18th man replacement being Jake Turpin. So, yeah, look, the Bulldogs, they come in this game with a full strength team, I would say. I'd say it's a full strength team, unless I'm. Who am I missing? Oh, well, you know, they got Maxi King back. This is pretty much a full strength team. Bulldogs fans, correct me if I'm wrong, I might be missing someone who's been out for a few weeks, but it seems like this is pretty much a full strength team here for the Dogs. Uh, moving over to the Knights now, the ins of Brody Jones and Tyson Gamble, with the outs being Dane Gagai and Jack Cogress. So a couple big outs there for the Knights. You go to the fullback, Caelan Ponga, who is captain, who I'm surprised he's actually playing today, and he just said in an interview just now. Like, I just want to get through to half time with this injection. So he's obviously injured, uh, and he's obviously struggling right now. Uh, and the Knights are kind of, you know, risking it for the biscuit by playing him uh, because he did get injured last week. But yeah, look, they do need him, in my personal opinion, to win. Uh, and he was playing well last week until he got injured and still nearly won it even after he got injured. So uh, obviously they know more about his medical situation than I do, uh, but I'm surprised considering that 
especially after what he's just said that yeah look uh, the injection should get me through to half time and I guess it's taking another one I don't know you got the wings Greg Matsu and Thomas Jenkins with the centers being Bradman Best and Enaro Tuala Go to the 5'8", Tyson Gamble with the halfback being Jackson Hastings. The front row is Leo Thompson and Daniel Saifiti with the hooker being Jaden Braley. You go to the back row, Dylan Lucas and Kai Pierce-Paul with the 13 being Adam Elliott. Interchange-wise, Jacob Saifiti, Phoenix Crossland, Jack Hetherington and Brody Jones with Matt Croker as the 18th man replacement. Obviously, you look at the halves. This is the halves they had last year. So I guess this is the, well, this is the first time we'll see this year if Gamble and Hastings are still able to crack on together. Uh, with Jack Cogger being out. So, yeah, Gamble and Hastings. be interesting to see how that cracks on. And obviously, they lost Dane Gagai, so they did have to bring in Anaro Tuala from the wing to the center, who's actually had a pretty good year in Anaro Tuala, uh, just not defensively, but attacking-wise. And then on the wing, they brought in Thomas Jenkins. So the Knights, little changes here and there. But overall, I don't think... As long as Ponga is actually healthy enough to play this game, as long as he's healthy enough to play this game the Knights shouldn't really have too many of excuses not to win this one um, against the Dogs here. But, guys, there we go. That's the two-team lineups. Who am I going to predict? Dear me. Who am I going to say wins this game? Uh, I might go the Dogs here. I might go the Dogs in this one. Um, just on the basis that I don't know about Ponga's injury. And I think the Knights are very, very heftily relying upon uh, Cameron Ponga. And I just don't know if he gets through the full game here. The Bulldogs have shown improvement, but with that being said, they have also been awful too. I'll take the Dogs at home. I feel like they'll be able to get over the line here, uh, and I don't think it'll be convincing. I think it could be convincing enough, but you've got to also remember the Knights have actually beaten them very heftily last year. They scored like 100-something points to like 10 or something ridiculous. It was wild. The Knights whooped the Dogs both times last year, one of them being 66 nil. Um, so, and that was the start of their resurgence. They were going to fire out of O'Brien that week and then decide to go and win 66-0 and then went on that 10-game spree. So, uh, I, I am very worried about the Knights here. Uh, I just, I just, I can't trust that Cameron Ponger is completely fully healthy at the moment and I will probably lead with the Dogs, but not convinced at all. Not convinced at all with either of these two teams. But guys, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe when you're out here. Before we do get into the game, obviously, we'll talk to you about TBC Live. TBC Live is sponsoring a big house sport throughout the rugby league season. And uh, we've been playing it all throughout the round so far. If you don't know what TBC Live is, firstly, it's the pinned comment in the chat. Completely free app that you can play with us alongside during the game. It is about the game that we are watching. It's basically like... I guess another form of... It's, it's like a mix of super coach and predicting what's going to happen next, right? Because you, you've got to see and got to know how these players play to know what they're going to do next. Do you think Crichton... It, you could actually put that Crichton does a dummy and gets a line break. And it's specific. So then you get that right. You get that wrong based on if you vote eight, four, two state points up or down. Uh, and then obviously you try and get the most points throughout the game. And obviously the weekend for weekly prizes. And I think there was a game prize this week as well. Uh, which I'm not too sure what game that was. Uh, but uh, you can predict, obviously, if you think Adam Carr will score three tries today. Jeez, he's had a big game against the Storm last week. I think he scored a hat-trick in that game. Uh, and then maybe you say Bradman Best gets two tackle breaks and a line break in the next 15 minutes. It's completely up to you what you predict. You can even predict there's going to be a gambling ad on the television in the next uh, few moments. You know, like it's just whatever you think is going to happen next, you put that there, you can say yes, you can say no. And like I said, throughout the game, you'll accumulate points and you try and beat everybody else and you've got to try and beat me. So you've got to try and beat me. But there we go. TBC Live. Definitely go and check them out there in the pinned comment over there. Like I said, completely free app. So go and check them out. But let's get into the game. Let's see the chat. So you guys are saying, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Bing bong. Ding dong. Let's do it. Also, let me know how Entertain House did last night. Let me know how um, Entertain House did last night on the, uh, on the stream. Love to see it. Because obviously, I don't really get a chance to... Watch it back. I could watch it back, but obviously I'm super busy at the moment. Um, but uh, let me know how we did. Reese 77 says, I reckon Dogs 13 plus. 13 plus is a big score, bro. 13 plus is a big score. Um, yeah, that, uh, sorry. I saw a stupid comment there. Not from you, Reese. Don't worry. <laughs> sorry, the good word, Jay. Uh, Flurry, other than folks, we should have won. Yeah, look, Flurry, look, I'll, I'll say this, man. You know, it's very tough. It's very difficult. Um... But we're, we're giving it a go. You know, it's coming together. It's just defensively, unfortunately, we fell apart in some really key areas yesterday. But, you know, uh, there was also about an eight-meter forward pass that was a try for Manly uh, right before half time. But with that being said, you know, you can't concede 34 and then complain really about the referees. Um, but, uh, you know, you, I, I do get pretty animated during the game. 
uh, on the vlog. Seminita says, thank God Broncos pumped the Rays yesterday. Yeah, I was pretty happy to see that one considering Ricky's comments yesterday, uh, last week, sorry. Uh, Flying Sapon got a needle in his hip just a few, a few hours ago. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm concerned. That's why I've took the dogs here. I, 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 this is the first time I've took the dogs all season. Uh, I'm not convinced in either team, but I just don't know if Pong gets through the whole game. If Pong gets through the whole game, I probably would have tipped the Knights. You know, like if I was confident Pong got through the whole game, I'd tip the Knights. Uh, but with Pong being on that injury potential restriction there, I will, I will take the, I'll take the dogs just. Amos Speppi says dogs one at twelve. Someone says dogs nothing plus. Umbrella getting around it. NRL best better says Bulldogs win. I think so, maybe just. Flurry says Pong a super coach. Uh, after that, Tuala can score. Uh, I haven't even looked at my super coach, uh, to be fair. I haven't even looked at my super coach uh, since the other day. I wouldn't be on a good score because I ended up captain and um, <laughs> I ended up captain and the big Brimo. I don't know what he got. What did Brimo get? Sixty-seven. Uh, well, it's better than what I was originally gonna. Oh, I was originally gonna actually captain. He's not too much worse off than Tom Tavoyevich, to be fair. Uh, oh man, that Bostock 131 on the bench that was really hurting my feelings. It's really, really hurting my feelings. Uh, it's not the worst option considering he is still Tom Tavoyevich 87, 20 off, whatever. 73 for Hughes. That's six off, whatever. He's only six off Adam Fennell Blake. I don't think I actually did too wrong with that captaincy prediction, unless Molotalo goes off. If Molotalo goes crazy later on today against the uh, the Cowboys, then I'm going to probably cry myself to sleep. But, um, you know, I'm okay with that, actually, to be fair. Sam Jenkinson says, hopefully Adokar and Taff make us happy today, mate. Adokar and Taff. Adokar and Taff? Is Taff playing? Is Taff... Taff's not... Oh, Taff is on the bench. He's on the, the 17. Why, is, why does Adokar and Taff make us happy? Sam, why, why, why is Adam Car? What, what's the reference to Adam Car and Taff? Why was Ad, why will Adam Car and Taff make us happy today? Uh, Joshua, Joshua Price is hey, get around at Brocky Sports. Players hope Taff has a good one. Like, says, sorry about yesterday, players. I do feel like the Titans were hard done by with some calls, but at least they brought it down to the wire. Like I said, man, you know we still conceded thirty four points, right? Um, but yeah, like I am definitely animated throughout the game in regards to stuff that's very difficult to see when. Anyway, but long story short, it was, yeah, you know, you just got to put up with it. Uh, Flyers, they should have fired him. Uh, Rod Thomas says, interesting to see if they move Marty back to the left wing today. Yeah, yeah. Well, Greg Marty's not really, well, he's only been back one game, to be fair, uh, but want to see some of those damaging runs that we know he can do. Uh, Hayden was good. Oh, that's good. Good to see. Good to see. Uh, Sutton Kelson says, I'm honestly nervous playing the Titans next week. We're on a poor run of form, and you can feel the Titans win coming very soon. Uh, I hold more hope for the Storm game in two weeks' time at home. We beat them last year at home, 38-34, uh, another high scoring game. Uh, I ho hold more hope for that one. Like, obviously, I'll be there. I'll be in New Zealand. I leave on Wednesday. I can't wait. It's going to be a great time over there. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going over there with high expectations of a win, but I will be going over there to obviously support the boys. Uh, Flurry says, O'Brien's halves roulette is killing the Knights. Uh, well, it's not. I don't think Cog has been dropped, has he? I don't think Cogger's been dropped. I think he's injured. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if, I think that the right halves combination is Cogger and Hastings. I don't think Gamble's the guy. Uh, but they started off the season, they got it wrong, and then they changed it. And I think the only reason they're changing it now is because... Um, I think the only reason they're changing it now is because of... Um, what's it called? Of injury, if I'm not mistaken. Is Ponga out? Ponga's not out. Ponga's playing. He's just... He's got an injury, so I'm concerned if he gets to the whole game. Uh, Seminary says, serves Ricky right. He should not be allowed to bag any teams of coaches. Ricky's a wanker. Justin Takalti says he tightened shut heart yesterday. Yeah, we gave it a crack, mate. We gave it a crack. Sam Jenkins says, nah, I edited my bet. I didn't know Taff on the bench. I said, yeah, but what's the bet? you got to tell us the bet, mate. You, you can't just say, hopefully, Adokar and Taff make us happy today. you got to tell us what the bet is. <laughs> is that just any time try scores? Uh, Papa G says, g'day. G'day, mate. Keep it sec. He says, what stand are you sitting in for the Wise vs. Titans? Wherever the away bay is, man, uh, I'm not too sure. The club's uh, organized the ticks, so I'm not too sure. But wherever the away bay is, that's where I'll be. That is where I'll be. Rooster Man says, Hayden did a great job last night. That's good to see. Yeah, that's um, that's good to see. Obviously, so far, we've had uh, Wobble and Jaw. We've had uh, Hainsey. We've had TJC. And now we've had an Tane House. So um, definitely plenty of people getting a um, good old crack here. And I think... Antonio maybe, Chihuahua boy maybe doing the Titans-Warriors game for us on Thursday. 
maybe. So we'll see, because he's got the day off. So I was talking to him last night about it. Um, we, we try, we'll try and get him on. Um, I'm not 100% sure if he will, but I'll call him later on. Uh, Errol Super King says he played in reserve grade. Who played in reserve grade? Uh, who played in reserve grade? Uh, Sam Jenkins says, uh, I've got multiple on for this game. Uh, Joshua Carr times two, Tracy times two, Twilight and Bess. The amount of try scores you have in your Bess is just wild. It really is just wild. Pam out at Eels 1947 says, get your hopes up. Blaze Titans played really well yesterday. Win coming soon. Yeah, yeah, I know it's coming soon. Um, it's just hard to, hard to expect it, you know, but that doesn't stop us from still being there. Uh, Keeper Seki says, do you get tickets for free for Titans or not? For away games, yeah. Um, it's part of the membership and whatnot, right? So, yeah, for they hook us up for away games uh, when they can, uh, when we have, like, a reciprocal game. So reciprocal games are, like, when another club is playing at your home ground and you're playing, obviously, away at theirs. Usually, like, clubs do a little bit of a share package kind of deal. So that's kind of how it works. Uh, Tita says, Titans should pay for you to come to their games, mate, especially away games. Now we can't expect that kind of stuff, man. Like, obviously, you know, obviously I would like to do some stuff for the club but at the end of the day that's not my choice and I do what I can I do what I can for the club and um, I will be there regardless when I lose but at least we get a lot of home games after this so we've got uh, New Zealand this week away and then the week after we have Storm at home on my birthday I think we'll play the Cowboys I think it's Magic Round at Suncorp Broncos at Suncorp and then we have like three games at home again um, it's pretty good. We've got a pretty good home stretch coming up, man. So pretty cool for that. Pretty excited for that. Uh, Jack Cogger. Oh, Jack Cogger played reserve guys. So he got dropped. Oh, wow. So he's not injured. He got dropped. Interesting. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I think Jack Cogger and Jackson Hastings are the best uh, halves to there. Then again, Tyson Gamble and Jackson Hastings did do really well last year for them. They were a part of the 10-game spree. So there is that, there is that um, too. That's Yeah, that's interesting that he got dropped. Sam Jenkins, did he play that badly last week to get just dropped? I don't know about that. Sam says, Joshua Ricard, Twilight, kick out best, Tracy and Marcy. And look, these two teams don't exactly know how to defend a great deal, so it might be a good shout. Uh, Daddy Man says, the Dogs haven't lost the Knights in 2024. Put your house on the Dogs. Yeah, well, the Dogs haven't beat the Knights in a while, uh, but I actually have fun enough to tip the Dogs the other day, Daz. I've tipped them very close, and the only reason is because I'm not, I'm not sure that uh, Ponga gets through the full 80. I'm not sure he gets through the full 80. And that's the reason why I think the Knights could do it. Uh, sorry, the Dogs could do it. Uh, but I'm not convinced of the team, obviously, at all. At all. Uh, Antonio says, you're a funny-looking BKR sport imposter. Uh, well, firstly, you got your wrong. That's Y-O-U and then an apostrophe R-E, mate. Uh, you know, a little bit of a dinger up top. Uh, you forgot that one, so you're wrong. Um, and because of that, uh, you're not as good as English as me. So that means that you are not big in our sport. Uh, and uh, we had people saying that you were awful before, by the way, Hayden. We, we, people in the chat were saying, oh, man, never bring back an Italian house, mate. Never, ever bring it back. I'm joking, by the way. They said you were good, bro. They said you were good. But they did say you are a Muppet. Broggy Sports says, why is there three games on Thursday? It's Anzac Day, brother. It's Anzac Day. Uh, Antonia says, Cherry Matsu, be best nice W. Uh, don't mind the Matsu one. I, I just feel like the dogs have got this one. I do. I feel like the dogs might, might be up for this one. I think they might. If, if the Knights win, I've definitely got Pong to score. Uh, Bailey says, Go Manly. They won last night. I'm from Gold Coast. So you're from Gold Coast, but you're a Manly fan? Is that what you're saying? Are you proud of that? Is that you, are you proud of that? Rooster Man says, Pong must be suspect. Uh, Pong, well, yeah, Ponga, he's in a little bit of a, yeah, he's a little bit of a, um, a, a, a worry man. Like, that injury, yeah, he still killed it last week, though. He, he did still kill it last week. Antonis says, best is my lock, try scorers of the week. Your lock, all right, there you go. Well, guarantee it, then. Guarantee it. Flurry says, I'm so stuck for a captain. You haven't captained anyone yet? Uh, if you've got Molotalo, I'd go Molotalo for a captain on Super Coach. If you've got... Well, if you got Ponga, you may as well go Pong. You may as well go Ponga then. I did best uh, Flurry 69 for coach points. You've captained Bradman best this week. There you go. D Fon says, when are you off to New Zealand, mate, and you're going with any other Titan supporters? Yeah, we've got a few, mate. We've got, um, I know of, oh, well, I know three going, myself, Sam, and another. Um, who else? I don't really know anyone else who's gone, but I know there's a few Titans fans over there in New Zealand. We've got a nice little function on that day as well. 
uh, on Wednesday. So no, I'll be heading over there Wednesday morning and I've uh, got the function that night, which would be great. And then uh, just enjoy the time. Just enjoy the time over there. Uh, Bailey says, my mum go for Manly though. She's from Manly City. Bro, if you're from the Gold Coast, support the Gold Coast. You know, like if you're from the Gold Coast, and my mum's a Sharks fan. You see me going for Cronulla? Well, I'd get around them for her, but I'm not a fan. Anyway, long story short, who cares what I think, mate? But I just think that that's a little bit sad. Like, go for your, like the whole point of rugby league and sport is to go for your community and support your community. You know, the only reason you don't go for the Gold Coast is because they're not good enough, right? They're not good enough right now. Uh, but when they're good enough, I guarantee you, with my life, that you go for the Titans. I guarantee it that when this team becomes successful one day, you will be one of the first people on the bandwagon saying, I'm from the Gold Coast, go the Titans. Guarantee you. Guarantee you it. So that's why I'm not a massive fan of people who are from a city and then go for another team, especially when they're from another city. Because I'm telling you, the only reason you do that is because the Titans haven't been good. And when they do get good, you'll use the excuse of, no, I'm from the Gold Coast to go to the Titans. Bingo. I tell you, that will happen. Uh, Sam Jenkins says, that's Kansas Bean. Uh, D Fon says, awesome. Should be an incredible experience. First game they're hosting over there for Anzac Day. Uh, no, 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 no. The, we played the Warriors on Anzac Day 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And we beat, we, we won the game against the Warriors that day. Uh, but I think it was 2017, we played you guys over there, or New Zealand over there, in... Uh, on Anzac Day and we won. Uh, but it's the first time in a long time, yeah. It's the first time in, uh, in a long time that we do, uh, that the New Zealand do get a home game because that's what obviously the issue with the storm, right? Uh, but yeah, but yeah. You know, it should be a good time. First time in New Zealand that I'll be there. Uh, be going bungee jumping, thanks to the old slabber. That'll be a good one. And uh, no, we'll have, a, we'll have a great time regardless of the result. Keep a second, so what, who's your second team you go for? Uh, well, I don't have a second team, but like a team that I have a soft spot for would be Mum's Sharks. Um, but I definitely would want to flog them when we play them, which we don't recently. But like I want to play them. when when we play them, I'd want to, you know, um, flog them. But when we don't play them, obviously get get around for Mum. But I'll always be proud of my community, and I'll always support my community, Bailey. Uh, Dasha says other is bunnies, two bottom teams. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jason's people on the second team. Yeah, I think it's a confusing thing between like second team and soft spot team. You know, like a second team is weird because if you're saying you have a second team, that means you support two teams. But if you say you have a soft spot team, it means I want to flog that team when we play them. But when we're not playing them, I'd rather see them win for a family member or someone like that, right? So like I don't like having a soft spot team is great. It's fine. It's, it's brilliant. You know, it gives you a reason to watch another team during other games. But you know actually genuinely going for another team while you've got one team is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I think old mate Bailey thought that was going to go a very, very different direction, man. Uh, Flores, I ordered my Dorky Titans hat yesterday. What do you mean Dorky Titans hat? Luen Moodley says, uh, sucked by four. Bro, they are a great team. Sucked by four. He's saying sucked to lose by four? Yeah, look, it sucks to lose by a close amount. But with that being said... Um, at least our attack's coming together. Just need to fix that defense now. <laughs> Just need to fix that defense now, to be fair. Jeff Jackson says, G'day, mates. Hello, man. Seven minutes to go until kickoff, guys. Obviously, smack that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let's go do a TBC Live prediction. Let's go do our game by game at TBC Live prediction. All right, predict anything. First 10 minutes. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know what? We're going to say, Vili, 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 Bombili. Vili, Ami, kick out. Toss a Vithy man. Vithy on me kick out. One line break. And... Well, you know what? We're going to say try assist. Because I reckon he breaks the line and then passes the ball for the try. Uh, so one line break and try assist within first 10 minutes. No, we'll go 15 minutes. Uh, but don't want to get too juicy, mate. You don't get too spicy, son. Too spicy. Fix time minutes. Bang. Post that little bad boy. Hopefully it comes through soon. There we go. Vote that. TBC Live is the pinned comment in the chat, by the way, guys. Pinned comment in the chat. And then we're going to go to uh, any time prediction. And I will say that... You know what? Any time prediction, I'm going to say draw at half time. Draw at half time. That's spicy. Yeah, that's a spicy one. Draw at half time. Post that little prediction. Vote that. And then we're going to go to a predict anything special prediction across the game. 10 times value is... Is... Kai Pierce Paul... Uh, we'll go KPP. KP... 
P and KPP and you know what we're going to say oh no we won't say Burton no we won't do a try score we'll say we'll, you know what we're going to go over 70 points in, scored in the game 70 that's a lot of points over 70 points scored in the game and I'm going to vote yeah I reckon defences might be all over the shop today and we could see a high scoring game just like we saw yeah oh, 70 is a lot though that would mean like a 40-30 kind of deal. Ooh, I don't know about that. I went too high. I went too high. I went too high. I went too high. I went, I went, I went 60. I should have done 60. I should have done 60. <laughs> I voted no. I voted no. You want three points, guys? Go vote no. I meant to do 60, not 70. I meant to do 60, not 70. Gee whiz. Yeah, gee whiz. T says, who's the favorite winner with the spoon? Your team, bro. Big Spy Thomas says, do you, think, do you see the Dolphins in the eight by the end of the year? No, I don't. Uh, but I thought they did. I had a good game against the Eels the other day. But I think that was more a reflection of the Eels than it was the to, uh, of the Dolphins. Uh, Bailey says my two team is Raiders. Don't judge it. No, you're a muppet. Rooster Man says Adar Car scores three. Um, Adar Car scores three. Oh, I don't mind it. Oh, I don't mind it. Uh, Dasha says Adar Car for a double. Uh, Kerry says, Oh yeah, guys. Clowns like John Davies, it's just a fake account, bro. We'll hide them straight away. Don't even bother reacting to them, man. We get them all the time. <laughs> like, he'll go and create another account and, and benefit the channel. It is what it is. Flores, is it Muppet season? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it always is. Cabbage is rare Blazel. Ah, uh, frequent Blazel at the moment. <laughs> frequent Blazel at the moment, to be completely honest with you. But we keep on moving. Regardless of the L's, we keep on moving, son. I just want, hopefully, this is a good game. Sharks Cowboys on later on today. Uh, I do think the Sharkies win. I do think the Sharkies win. I, don't, I just don't know if the Cowboys' defense is up to it. The Sharks have a good attack at the moment. Montalo and Sianna Katoa, uh, probably any time try scorer is there. Uh, I do like that little opportunity. Uh, is Breton Nicoras uh, playing today? Is Nicora playing? He's been out a couple times this season, I think. Uh, what is he? Oh, Katoa's out. Sianna Katoa's out. So Samuel Stone Street is the other winger alongside Ronaldo Montalo. And the quarter is... Tr okay, I, I'd go... I'd go Montalo. You know what? I'd even say Nico Hines try today. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I would. Will Ken you know what? I'd say Will Kennedy, Montalo, and Nico Hines, all three try scorers. Yeah, D-Finder just knows that. Katoa not playing. Yeah. Yeah, just knows that. Um, so I'm not going to back in the, the Samuel Stone Street young bloke, but good luck to him. Good luck to him. I need to point out KP outlet Saab. KP outlet Saab? What do you mean? KP, Kampong, huh? Lab Borsic says, let's go the revenge. Dogs 13 plus. I've gone dogs 1 and 12 here. Dasher says, Ricky Stewart got his ass hand to him last night. Good. Um, and that's against the Broncos. Like, I'll, I'll, I will sit back and just simply enjoy the Raiders losing this year. Not for your fans. I don't have a problem with your fans. I have a problem with Ricky Stewart. So every loss for Ricky Stewart is a win for Australia. Uh, Justin Tukasi says, Haney or Garcia? Oh, that's on now, isn't it? Oh, I'm spewing I'm going to miss that. I'm spewing I'm going to miss that. Uh, but I can't predict I can't predict Garcia, bro. I, like, I want Garcia to win. I really want him to win, but I can't do it, man. I can't predict him. Uh, I can't predict him. Leia Borsak just putting the wife and kids on it. <laughs> you don't have wife and kids, Leia Borsak. Nate says, what's the next game today? Uh, Sharks-Cowboys right after this man down there in the Nulla, in Cronulla. Oh, oh, KP. Well, you got to say AKP. AKP makes sense. KP usually refers to, like, uh, Kalen Ponga. So you've got, like, KPP, which is Kai Pierce paul You've got KP, which is Kalen Ponga. You've got AKP, which is Lafayana Kalen Pereira. Um, so, that, yeah, otherwise, uh, we, we always think KP. Tia says, who would win out of the teams? Clark, he just posted. Oh, that I saw this ages ago. He's had this ready for ages. I think this is the Queensland, New South Wales and stuff, isn't it? TBC Live says, Drew Hudson to obtain at least one try in 10 minutes. I'm going to vote against you. Absolutely, TBC Live. <laughs> I am absolutely voting against you. Uh, if it's the... Oh, it is the Residence Cup. Yeah, I saw that ages ago. I, I genuinely believe Queensland win that. Genuinely. Um, Kevin says, went to the Lions game last night. Go to Cats. Up to Catters. Sat near a Lions Muppet who was... Oh, it's been removed. So you've said something stupid. Uh, Seminu says, Seeing Sticky Ricky sad is my favourite and against my team, the Broncos, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. I wish it was against anybody else but the Bronx, but I I'd take that Bronx win over the Raiders, to be fair, right now. Flores says, I'm a tight supporter, only one KP. No, again, so if you say KP again, like again in the chat, I'm always going to think of Callum Ponga. So, <laughs> AKP. 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 
<laughs> Ollie is the best, says, who's your favourite NRL rugby team? All right, so the game is about to start here, guys. The game is about to start. The Bulldogs are running out onto the field right now. Bulldogs are coming out of the field. Some macaroni, the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let's do this. Let's do this. AKP, exactly right. There we go, Flurry. We got there. We got there. There we go. Jay says Ollie's cooked. We know that. Bruce says, let's rumble. No, let's rumble, son. Come on. Come on. Let's have a good game here. Let's have a good game. I will shout out Manly fans, though. Manly fans uh, brought up a lot of people yesterday. Now, I will tell you as well, they usually use the Gold Coast as like a members event kind of deal. So they usually do bring up quite a lot of people. I think the last 10 years or so, they've used the Gold Coast as a members event. Uh, but yeah, they brought up a lot yesterday, which was <clears throat> pretty good. Pretty good. Usually Dragons, Manly, and Warriors bring the most over. That's for sure. Warriors, obviously, number one, though. So the Knights will be kicking this ball off. Best and Adokar, Biffo. Good. j says Knights nice 1 and 12. Yeah, I'm not confident either, but I've gone Bulldogs 1 and 12 based off Kalaponga's injury. Uh, even though he's playing, yeah, based off his injury. I will take Bulldogs 1 and 12. But this is the kind of game as well that, you know, they can come into it, having a good game-ish last week, and then show an improvement this season, and then just falling short. Look at the Titans, right? Titans have shown improvement in the last two weeks, but they just keep falling short, and the Bulldogs could do that in those good games and then come into a game like this and then it all comes apart, right? So uh, the Knights could win this game 13 plus. The Bulldogs could win this game 13 plus. Uh, one twelve either way. It doesn't really matter. I, I think this, this is a really hard game to predict. So left-hand side, Viliani Kikau, four tackle to the 35. Justin Tukowski says, the Titans need Benji Marshall to come out of retirement taken to the next level. Uh... No, I didn't think our halves was a problem at all yesterday. And it's going to be the Knights now at the 35. And Tanner Boyd had a pretty decent game for the most part. And Kim Form was fine. So it wasn't our halves that were the issue. So right-hand side of the Knights. Bradman Best, he'll bring it out to the 38. Wasn't a great kick there from the Bulldogs early doors. Uh, put the Knights in a pretty good position. Even though the Knights aren't really doing too much with it. And they're getting slapped back to the 40. Third tackle. Not doing too much with it here, the old Newcastle. And Saifidi so gets his ball to the halfway point and it will be four tackle. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't think it was the halves at all. So fit tackle now for the Knights. Weird thing about the Titans, right, is that def de tackle efficiency and defensive efficiency is actually pretty good. It's just small individual lapses. Small individual lapses that are costing us. But at the end of the day, the defensive efficiency is not actually that bad. But just individual moments are, are really costing us. Um, because we win that game 13 plus yesterday if we had general level standard across the entirety of the game defensively. But we just didn't. And unfortunately, we, that's how we fell apart. Jess Jackson says, let's see how Newcastle's kicking game goes. Well, their kicking game just then was pretty good. Kicked him into the 10. Bryce, I thought you had them yesterday. Oh, penalty to the dogs. Penalty to the dogs. 30 minutes out. Oh, Jackson Hastings and Karaz Biffo. Biffo, 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 Biffo. Fabulous says the calls weren't great either. No, they were not. No, they were not. But yeah, Brighton, I uh, thought I did too until we saw an 8 minute 4 bus. <laughs> so Biffo there between Hastings and Karaz. So Karaz must have said something to him and then Hastings just kind of throws his arm out. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know why Jackson Hastings would do that. Like, Karaz must have said... Karaz wasn't even looking at him. He was looking towards his own team. So I don't know what just happened just then. Saab playing NFL. Yeah, Saab is Tom Brady. I'd more so say he's like a Carson Wentz. It's like a Carson Wentz. I think it was more than one. Yeah, I'm not going to get into the refereeing. Uh, you know, we still can see 34 points, man. Jeff Jackson says, Newcastle have to stay calm. Got to be disciplined when the arm wrests on. We got them down with the count. Uh, I, you're definitely a Knights fan because you're way too confident about a game that is so 50-50. I can tell you that. The, you, like the Knight, this is, there is no confident tip in this game. The Knights are not superior to the Dogs. The Dogs aren't really superior to the Knights. So it's a game that whoever wins on the day, really. Re that's what I would say. I'd say whoever, whoever comes out better on the day, which oh, Max King's already gone off. Wowee. Did he come back from injury? No, Max King's not on. Who was the number 10 just then that's come off with an injury? 
Who's the number two? Oh, Chris Patolo's already come off. So is, um, Sam Hughes wants to come in. Hudson Burton inside here to kind of Tracy, who's taking that five minutes after the line fit tackle. Yeah, neither of these seems uh, anything spectacular, but, you know, it just comes down to who's, who plays better here on today. I guess, I know that sounds pretty obvious, but fit tackle, they put it up, and Knight's grabbing it. Oh, he's lost the ball. That's going to be... They're going to go and check this. I'm pretty certain it'll be a drop ball. I think it's going to be a drop out. Bruce Messi, how can't sideline officials pick up a four pass? That's my biggest gripe with the game. I just don't understand how the bunker can't rule on a, a pass that's like eight metres forward. Literally, like seven to eight metres forward. If you look at the photo, <laughs> he catches it. He passes it before the line and then catches it like seven metres after the line. It was incredible. But... Who touches this? Knights go up. And ball drop backwards. Let's play on. Who gets it? This might be a Knights try, Ponga. Oh, knock on by Ponga. Knock on by Ponga. So this is actually going to be a seven, uh, seven tackle set here for the Bulldogs at the 20. Uh, Justin Sunday, man, for 32 months. Get around your Sunday. Roosters L, Sydney L, Sunderland L, my team L. But City win, 1-0. Against Chelsea. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And short drop out will not go 10. So it's going to be Bulldogs ball here at the 10. Not a penalty though. Jay, do you have any players from either team in your super coach team? Uh, yeah, I have Kaipi's Paul. I got Sam Hughes, but he's on the bench. That's it. I've only got Kaipi's Paul actually in my scoring team. So the Bulldogs now, they're going to be five metres out of the line, first tackle. Is Crichton going to be the Dogs fullback or nah? Play, paying dollar $1.1 for a cent. Oh, $1.1 million for a centre is a bit how you're going. It's a bit how you're going. I don't think Crichton's a fullback, but it is definitely a bit how you're going. Second tackle, nine metres out. They've got Reed Marnie gives up the current current underneath to Crichton. Crichton taking down eight metres out of the line, third tackle. I, just, I wasn't impressed by Crichton playing fullback when he was at the Panthers. and if he's, I wasn't impressed with him at the Panthers, and I'm not sure about the Dogs. Matt Burton left that side. Oh, Bronson Cherry. Oh, wow. Great defensive tackle there by Ponga. That looked like it was going to be an easier try there for Cherry. Right hand side, Reid Marnie off to Sam Hughes. Try time for the Dogs. Try time for Sam Hughes. He's just come on the field due to the injury from... Uh, due to the injury from... Chris Patolo and Sam Hughes will score a try for the Doggy Doggy Wolf Wolf. And that's a good start. Supercoach Blake, did you actually start him in your team this week? I didn't. He's super coach though. It is super coach, super coach, super, super, super coach, super coach, super coach, super, super, super coach. Did have him in my team. Did have him in my team, just not the starters. No, no one would have. I did the week he got like 73 when no one did. I did that week. Hem Prasad says go dogs. Yeah, well, they've scored a try here early and nicely done to put that down. But it's money, thank you very much. Yeah, he's minus 13 break even as well. So we definitely take those. I think that's the first time he's touched the ball as well. I think he scored a try with the first touch of the ball. With his first touch of the ball. I tell you what, I tell you who's been an impressive player super coach wise this year, Jimmy Joloff. Jimmy Joloff this year has been, well, he's been impressive with the Titans, but also super coach wise he's been super impressive too. Jeff Jackson, where did Newcastle go wrong when Bulldogs got that try? Everywhere. So the Bulldogs now, Matt Burton will punch it on over. So it'll be 6-0 2v Dogs, seven minutes into the game. Seminar says, need Eero to have a good game for super coach points. Yeah, everyone's going with the, I haven't, but I know everyone's going with the old Kyle Eero in that Sharks game right after this. Because uh, he's got a minus 60 odd break even or so. Uh, I've already kind of locked off my um, my center wings. Uh, I might trade out two of us as Sheck, to be fair. Uh, but I've got Montalo, Brimo, James Schiller, uh, who had a disappointing score, but had a minus 60, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Bow stock with that 131. I'm so glad I didn't trade him out like everybody else did. But I've still got drink water to play. Still got Montalo to play. Uh, that's it. Yeah, just drink water in my after this game. But yeah, pretty much everybody jumped on the Kyle Eero, uh bandwagon, which makes sense. 
I just don't want to waste a trade on that when I've already got the Sheila Van Wagen choo-choo. Like, guys, I'm playing Eero because May got ruled out and didn't like playing Strange or Schiller against Brisbane. Uh, yeah, Schiller was fine. I don't like the score, but in the same sense, like, Schiller nearly scored a breakaway try. Reese Walsh just cha cha chased him down. So, four tackle now at the halfway point. Rooster Man says, how's Ponga looking? Uh, defensively, he stopped the try, but they scored a try right after. But I don't think Ponga's looked bad so far. Fit tackle here at the 45. I don't think he'll be as actively involved in the, in the attack as he probably wanted to. Uh, but he hasn't put a, a foot wrong so far. Sander says, I tip Bulldogs. Not that it means anything because I'm two from six. Who were the two that you got? Actually, no, I don't want to know the answer to that. First tackle of the Knights because then I'll block you. So, Bradman Best here will get this ball here to the... Oh, he's going to lose meters. He lost three meters on that that run. Oh, I just I just realized eight minutes in that we're listening to Blocker Roach. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Off to Thomas Jenkins. And Jenkins, four tackle here at the 38. Four tackle. I am really looking forward to New Zealand, though. New Zealand, we, I, I think that bungee jump will give me a refresher. I think it'll give me a nice little refresher. Put life in perspective. <laughs> Steve Cockroach. Yeah, the old cockroach. Good morning, the old cockroach. So first tackle there. They go left-hand side of the dogs. All right, this is good speed. Matt Burton now taking down the 35-second tackle. Eight minutes blocker made it without making an impact. That's a new record. That's a record, mate. To have not acknowledged this clown for eight minutes is a record in today's world. So, Dogs now at the 48. They go right inside to Hutchinson. Hutchinson to Carraz. And he'll get taken down at the 43 or so. Thank you, Blocker. Just got to be careful and not give away repeat sets. They haven't given away a repeat set yet, though, Blocker. Fit tackle now at the 30. Reed Marnie off to Burton. And Burton will put up a... Uh, it's a pretty basic kick there. That's an easy one for Ponga. That was not a good kick. I miss this as Dogs 20+. plus. But yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I said dogs won at 12, but yeah, maybe. The Knights just don't look like a team right now. At, in, so far in this game, they don't really look a great deal cohesive. Uh, and the dogs just have been kind of doing a bit better in the season, I would argue, despite the fact they're below them. I would say I, I prefer the dogs, and we'll just see how if Pongo can last the 480. Four take at the 30. 30 minutes to go here of the first half, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are new around here. Knights have bought the 40. It'll be fifth tackle. It has been pouring down rain on the Gold Coast today. Man, I was so tired when I woke up this morning. So tired. Maybe the rain impacted that. Sam, if you're still watching, are you like good after yesterday or are you feeling sick? So Bulldogs here at the 23. First tackle. They go left-hand side of Bronson. Cherry. And Cherry, the 32. Hey, Jay, also, did you, guys, did you have many Muppets last night for entertainers? Was there many um, was there many Muppets having a crack at him or me? I'm feeling all G. I was so tired when I woke up, man. Four tackle. And Max King taken down at the 40. Actually, was... Oh, Sam Hughes wouldn't have been. your six try scorers. Don't worry, I won't ask. I won't ask, bro. Sam Hughes wouldn't have been. Yes, a couple. Ah, well, that's the, that's the way, man. But it wasn't, like, too bad. They didn't just start, like, spamming him and trying to, like, pressure him. Did he get much eel shit? They give him much shit for the eels. Oh, a good take there by Kiraz. Awful by the Knights there. And they kick it through, and it's going to be a dropout. That's all on the Knights there, man. Ponga gets taken down in goal. It's going to be a dropout. Um, but, wow, that was poor there from Newcastle to allow that just grab and throw it back. I've noticed a lot of teams doing this recently. Where if it's like a high kick and it's within like a 10 to 15 meter radius of where the ball was and you're like 30 meters out, so you're not within like a try scoring range, teams will allow you to grab it and then throw it back and get another play at it. Not really Slapper was supposed to take care of that. Slapper was Slapper not there. Slapper doesn't usually come on Saturdays. He's usually more of the early days and then uh, oh sometimes he's there on Saturdays too to be fair. And then later on a Sunday, I think he usually comes. Second tackle here for the dogs at the 15. Spider Man says, Evening to you, BK. Just home from work. Well, I don't know if it's evening just yet, sir, but uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's a knock on doggies. Knock on doggies. Knock on doggy, doggy, woof, woof. He was here. Oh, he was here. 
Very well behaved he was. Oh, wow. More well behaved for entertainers House than he was for, it is for me. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Very well behaved. I even, uh, when I called Hayden beforehand, I was like, mate, if you get shit about the eels, just know, welcome to my life, you know, every day. <laughs> oh, ruled out Chris Patolo, ruled out for a knee. He's ruled out with a knee. So Sam Hughes going to be playing big minutes. That's good money for Super Coach. Sam Hughes right now, instant coach, is on 38 with that try. Oh, I wish I had to have played him. I wish I had a reserved him over Galvin. I wish I had to put Bostock in, Schiller out, reserve Hughes. That would have been very nice. Very nice. Knights now to Thomas Jenkins, and Jenkins will be 22 minutes out here from his own line. Oh, I should go and uh, rule on my thingo. Uh, rule on the TBC live. Oh, Knights, Callum Ponga, taking out the 40. TBC live. <clears throat> Villain King got one line break and tries this within the first 15 minutes. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? That's not going to happen, so I vote no. Oh, six more here for the Knights. Oh, and fit tackle as well, Bulldogs. Knights now at the 40. On sick, on fit tackle as well, the Knights get a six again. So right-hand side, Jackson Hastings, short ball. Oh, wow. Who's the 11? Dylan Lucas, bro. No way. That was actually probably a try for Knights if he didn't knock that ball on. That was so open and so easy. If he catches that, he is so away, it's not funny. No one is get Like, he's either scoring or someone like Caelan Pong has fallen up and they're scoring through him. Either way, that was a try that's completely gone begging. Oh, that was so open. How has he knocked that ball on? It wasn't even a bad pass. Was not even a bad pass. All right, so the Bull, Bulldogs now. Well, yeah, we'll go about just over a month now until Origin. Now people will really start to, to fire it up in regards to that chatter. First half with the Dogs at 44. Steve says, Pong going to make the Queensland team. Uh, depending on his injury, probably. Oh, I don't know. Reese has been playing some pretty good football recently. I'd probably say Reese is, is looking like the better form player at the moment. Also was their fullback throughout last season. So I, I'd say Reese PC will be the one. Four tackle now at the 28. Drew Hudson, left-hand side to Josh Curran. Curran now to Burton. Burton at the back end of Liam kick out. <coughs> oh, that was awful defense, man. Oh, it's a knock-on night. That was awful defense, man. Bulldogs get the ball here. It's going to be six again, 15 minutes out. Oh, no, it's fit tackle. What? Knights definitely knocked that ball on. That was the wrong... Oh, don't worry about that. Bulldogs are going to score a try, but that was just... They're going to check the bunker here, but this Knights, that was the worst defense ever if this is a try. I don't think it'll be a try, Blake. They've gone up. He's pretty confident to no try. Yeah, I know. What was that camera work? We saw... We didn't even get to watch the try happen because they kicked it through. Uh, they put it through to Seraldo in the bunker. I mean, the, um, in the uh, coach's box. So the bounce up here, but Hastings, you got, no, not Hastings. Who's the four? He's going to do better. Bradman Best going to do better than that. Oh, he's lost it, yeah. No, he lost that. He's lost that. Yeah, I don't think they changed the Ben Hunt grand combo either. That's why I changed it to Reese um, Brighton. And I, I don't think Pond gets the. He's lost it for sure. Yeah, and it's fine. He's allowed to do that. And, like, technically, the bunker will say he's just making a tackle. So he does lose that. He does lose that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, Halbuni, can you please show us? Uh, no, I'm going to keep my pants on for today, uh, unfortunately, for you. Uh, when the Titans get a win, though, then maybe the pants will come off. But for the time being, I can't show you, yeah, yeah. No, I can't show you. Uh, you're a very good player, though, however, for the uh, Manchester City back in the day. Jeff Jackson says, the six again was what we needed, but we like typical New East stuff. It up. Uh, I'd say there's a few other teams that are typical. Uh, Flurry says, the camera work is shogging. Yeah, it wasn't great there. It wasn't great to show us Seraldo as the try was being scored. And penalty Newcastle, 35. Penalty, 35. Lang ball six, that should have been six again, though. Yeah, maybe. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life. 
Reese Mann says, Crikey. Uh, yeah, slapper. Slapper turns up when I start talking about taking my pants off. There you go. <laughs> so says, you already have no pants on, guarantee it. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I got pants on, all right? I got pants on. But you wait till the Titans don't, you wait till the Titans win a game. Gee whiz. I'm scared for you, New Zealand, if we win on Thursday. Scared for you. Maybe pick up a nice uh, a nice Kiwi girl. <laughs> Nice Kiwi girl, third tackle of the 15. Hey, she'd be terrified. Kai Pierce Paul, eight metres out from the line, four tackle. Four tackle. They go right hand side, Hastings. Hastings gives it off here. Oh, so feed, he's so close. Leo Thompson, sorry, three metres out, fifth tackle. For the Knights, Jaden Braley. Out the back to Hastings, to Callum Ponga. He kicks it through. Good kick, should be dropped out. Oh, they've let him get away. They've let him get away. Well done by Connor Tracy. That was pretty poor by the Knights, but they that was well done by Connor Tracy. And Hastings was caught offside. Well done from stopping. Uh, Focus Pong or Kiggins. Spider Man. Oh, of course he's not with the injury. Spider Man says, Storm the team to beat this year, BK. I don't know if that's correct. I, I'm not confident to agree with you. Because they're not winning games convincingly, and they're not actually looking that great, but they are winning games. So I will give you that that right now they're still winning games despite the fact that they actually don't look that good. But they are still winning. So at the time being, they're looking the... Oh, 40-20! That's a 40-20 for the Doggies. 40-20 for Matty Burton. Well done. Well done. Well done. So Matty Burton kicks a 40-20 there. Nearly a 30-20 to be fair. Good kick. So Doggies ball the 18. The doggy ball at the 18. Um, but yeah, I, I think right this very second, the Storm are favourites, but I'm not convinced by them. You watch, we'll give them a good crack in two weeks. Enough for win, we'll give them a good crack and we'll show you that they, they're they definitely beatable. Look at the dogs last week. They nearly beat them. Arguably should have beat them. Um, not based off any ref calls, just based off the fact that dogs aren't that great, but should have beat them last week. Roosters didn't look great at all. Don't know if they should have beat him, to be fair. Storm had quite a few calls go against him. Third tackle here at the five. Sorry, Sunder. Uh, third tackle at the back right side of Burton. Burton, short ball, Crichton. Crichton at the three. Uh, Blake Arsenal sought the night to instant he was kicking in their training. Oh, he'd still be doing... Yeah, he, he'd still be um, practicing, but not in... He wouldn't be doing it in gameplay. Fifth tackle. Sunder's says he's playing well. Uh, they've been playing better than the Knights today. I'll give you that. Kick out, fit tackle, lost the ball. I, I wouldn't say the Dogs have been playing fantastic, but they're definitely playing better than the Knights. I would personally say that if the Dogs were playing well, they should be up in this game by 12 to 18 points. Knights have been pretty awful, though. Dustin Tarkowski says, Garcia just almost knocked out Haney. Haney is really hurting the first round. Really? Yeah, give us updates on that fight, eh? I hope Garcia wins, man. That'll be such a huge moment if Garcia does beat Devin Haney. I know he's overweight, and it's really disrespectful to the sport of boxing that he went in deliberately three pounds overweight, but gee whiz, that'd be so awesome. Sam Hughes on 47, how good. It's going to hurt when he gets like a one buddy 130. It's going to hurt when he gets a 130. Justin Summers says, no, when I was at the game, I didn't think we got robbed. I just thought a lot of our star players had shockers and we weren't clinical. Yeah. Right hand side of the Knights, and it'll be an Arrow Tuala taking down about 45 on their own side of the field. Fit tackle. 20 minutes gone here, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Oh, Pong has dropped it. It's gone backwards, though. Oh, well, it's gone backwards. Oh, he just gave up on the play. Okay, don't worry about that. Well, it's going to be Bulldogs ball here at the 40. He gave up on the play. It was definitely backwards, though. Um, yeah. The Roosters are still trying to figure out where they're going Sunday, but I know you... I, I really think I should make a shirt that says under-delivering on over-expectations with the Roosters logo. <laughs> I really do. Uh, Spider-Man says, Storm Sports since I was 5, 80 years on, still is. That's great, bro. No, good on you for supporting your team. So now that makes sense why you said Storm the team to beat this year. You're getting around your team. Because if you weren't a Storm fan, people would listen to that more, but you're a Storm fan. <laughs> but you have right to kind of be confident right now, kind of. You have enough reason to be confident. Matt Burton here, third tackle here. Drew Hudson gives it off to Sherry. Sherry to kick out, kick out off to Adokar. Obstruction. He's run behind his player, but okay. Ran behind his player. That's an obstruction referee. That is an obstruction referee. 
Just because it's not a try does not mean it's not an obstruction. When will referees understand this? If you run behind your player and prevent a player from tackling you, that is an obstruction. Doesn't matter if it's a try or not. Call to call. Fit tackle. Tamney is out here from the line. Reed Marnie. Drew Hutterson. Kicks it through. And a pretty good kick, actually. We drop out. Ralph Tunnelvasta said, what, that's not backwards? It was only about five metres backwards, so I can see where you get confused. Uh, but they actually called it. It was just fit tackle, so because he obviously touched him on the ground. So, um, yeah, uh, it was only five metres backwards, so I can see where you would get confused when it's that way, about five metres. It's all good. Uh, Week Gaming says, go Newcastle Knights, 1-23, 66-0. Yeah, well, right now it's 6-0, so there's still a 6 and there's still a nil, but it's actually the Bulldogs over the Knights. And the Bulldogs will... He's over the sideline. Oh, has he thrown it before he got over? Oh, I thought he actually went over there, but apparently not. Apparently not. Liam Walsh says, would have been wrapped up if backwards. What? So, second tackle now. Oh, either way, I'm saying it was fifth tackle. It's fine. I'm not complaining about that. I'm complaining about the obstruction, though. Second tackle here at the 15. Drew Hudson. Hudson at the back here to Burton. Burton here to Con Tracy. Kudaraz. Ooh, what about his right leg? I think it's a try, though. I think it's a try here for the dogs. Yeah, please time out, Ralph. He's spamming the chat. But try time for the dog. He's kind of Tracy. I just want to check that right foot. But overall, I do think he has scored this try. It's a nice try down the right wing. Right wing try for Con Tracy with a nice little roll around. I just want to confirm this right foot. At the back here to Burton. Burton hitting to Tracy. Sorry, not Tracy. Kiraz scores. Oh, so close. I think he's got it, though. Kiraz has got... I think he's got this. This right foot is so close to the line, though. Oh, yeah, he gets it. Yeah, he gets it. He probably misses it by about that much. Oh, they're talking about maybe he lost it. I'm so focused on his foot that I didn't even look at his, if he lost it. Here we go. He's got the ball. Oh, Nah, that's a try. That's a try. That's a try. 10 nil to get to come. I was more concerned about the right foot than I was about the put down. So, 17 and a half minutes to go here of the first half. 10 nil to the dogs. Yeah, I know, Sunday. Yeah, it's okay. Blocker was the one that said he did lose it. Yeah, I shouldn't have even listened to the Blocker, to be fair. <clears throat> shouldn't have even listened to Blocker. So, Matt Burton here from the right wing. 14 from 22. He's 64% conversion rate this season, Burton. Not fantastic. Burton from the sideline will... Get this one, but... Can't ask much better than that. 12 nil. 17 minutes to go the first half. I will tell you guys, I'll be honest... When Manly went up 10 nil yesterday in the first like 10 minutes of the game, I thought we were going to get beaten by like 60. <laughs> I thought we were going to get logged in that game. So I'm so happy that we came back and made a good game out of it. But when it, when they went up 10 nil in that first 10 minutes, I was very concerned. Very concerned. Oh, that first try for Tom Tvojevic was so easy. But all right. I'm glad I tipped the dogs so far. Obviously, a long way to go, though. Knights can still come back. But I just I just knew. And then we all just knew. The Knights just aren't that team this year. Unless they turn around halfway through the season, like the Titans will, you know. Uh, Barry says, where is their defense? Well, neither of these teams are really known for their defense. But I'd probably say the Knights this year, way... Oh, defensively, let's have a look. Defensively so far this season... The Knights have given up 113. Actually, they've both given up the same amount of points, 113 before this game. They've both given up 113 points. Wow, the Eels have given up 180 points. That's the same as the Titans. The Rabbitohs have given up 196 points. <laughs> wow, hey. Manly, 156 points in their fifth. Cowboys, 149, but they've still got a game against the Sharks to play. And Knights, Thomas Jenkins gets taken down at the 20. I think the Bulldogs are going to win. Do I think the Bulldogs are going to win? Well, I tipped them before the game. They're currently leading 12 nil after 25 minutes. Um, so I'm going to probably say yes, mate. I'm probably going to say yes, yeah, yeah. So Greg Martiu to the 35. Good power running there to the 40. And we third tackle. 
Left-hand side of Bradman Best. And Bradman Best, good, strong run again to the 45 on the opposite side of the field. Good, strong run. Four tackle, Brayley off to Saifidi. We haven't seen a Knights attacking set yet, really. They just haven't been doing enough to put themselves within range. And Tyson Gamble puts that up into the corner. Decent chase there. They should be able to lock him down. And they do add a card to five. Burton off to Bronson Cherry. I hope this isn't a blowout blowout. But Bulldogs do have a reason to want to flog them, though, after that 66-0 last season. Like, that one really crushed the spirits of Dogs fans last year. That one really got them down. So I know the Bulldogs would definitely be wanting to get that revenge, as we said. Brighton says, you reckon Knight's coach will get the flip this year? Oh, mate, he got re-signed for like three years, which I said was the most absurd thing ever. Adam O'Brien, he was going to be sacked prior to the dog. That's knock on dogs. Prior to the dogs losing 66-0 to the Knights, they said that if they'd lose to the dogs, that he would be sacked. They ended up winning 66-0, going on a 10-game streak, and they re-signed him for like three years. Wild. Just Wild. Just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, I don't think they pay him out. And I also don't think there's a great deal of coaches on the... Um, I don't think there's a great deal of coaches available right now either. Contracts mean nothing. They do, because you have to pay him out. <laughs> Contracts do mean something. If you want to get rid of him for now, you have to pay his contract out. So yes, they absolutely do. <laughs> yes, they do. If you're trading, if you're going to another team, you're still getting your contract paid out. As in, like, you're... You can't just... The Knights can't just say, you're sacked, I'm not giving you the rest of your pay. That's not how it works with these contracts in NRL. So I don't think the Knights pay them out. Gravis can sign O'Brien. <laughs> oh, 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 Brian. Knights get a good offload there from Pierce Paul. And now Adam Elliott. Adam Elliott. Oh, Tawala slammed by Adokar, man. Depends on the clause. Flurry. <laughs> Flurry. In the NRL, Adam O'Brien signed for the next couple of years. The Knights cannot just sack him without paying him out. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's that's how it works. And it will go for a seven tackle set here with the dogs. Awful kick. They cannot just release without pay. They have to pay him out. Tackle by the car. Yeah, it was a great tackle there by Josh Hadokar. Uh, Dave Travis says, you were right. Oh, sorry. We, aren't, we, uh, we pass him more to the left and let kick out to his thing. Oh, why aren't we passing more to the left and to, let kick out to his thing? I don't know, actually. Um, and we had this complaint last week against the Storm for the Dogs. You know, he was absolutely annihilating them down that left-hand side of Nick Maney and stuff. But they just don't seem to go down the left-hand side. They seem to go down the right-hand side more. To be fair, they have scored... Oh, Burton knocked the ball on. That's a bad knock on by Burton at the 45. Uh, they keep going on the right hand side. I don't get it. I don't get it. France 105, who's, who's O'Brien? Oh, 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 O'Brien. Adam O'Brien, mate. Newcastle Knights um, coach. Blake says, where's my contract? Where's my contract, mate? <laughs> where's mine? Jackson Hastings now to the 30. It'll be second tackle. JD has a nine months clause that works. Still have to pay him that nine months. But that doesn't, that's not much. You know, three years is a lot. Nine months is nothing. Oh, Hetherington, that's an awful offload. It might work out, though, actually. Wow, nine minutes out from the line. Third tackle of the Knights. Third tackle of the Knights. Hetherington off to Elliot. Elliot hit a Hastings, and that was no. Six minutes out of the line. Four tackle. Knights with the ball. Brayley, Ponga. Gives it off here to Saifidi. Fair tackle. Can't get the offload away. He was looking for the offload, though. And they give it off to Gamble. Kicks it through. Adokar gets it, but it'll be a dropout. I think it was three years, Slapper. I could be wrong. Dropout coming up here from the Dogs of the Knights. Adam O'Brien contract. Adam O'Brien will remain the head coach of the Newcastle Knights until at least the end of the 2020 season, uh, 2027 NRL season after signing a three-year contract extension with the club. Knights fans, wow. 2027. It was a three-year contract. I was right. So just to clarify for everyone, that actually means that if he was fired right now, they have to pay him this year. 
They have to pay him 2025. They have to pay him 2026. And they have to pay him 2027. That's four years. So they're not sacking him. 10 minutes to go here the first half, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Jackson Hastings at the back here to Safidi. And Safidi taking down 10 minutes out from the line. And Braley, Braley at the back here to Hastings. Hastings to Kaipis Pool. V and a, oh, Kaipis Pool. Super coach. Oh, he's a close one meter out. Four tackle. Oh, Reedy coming out in the second VNM. At the back here to Crossland to Safidi. Crossland's not it, man. Fifth tackle here. Three meters out. Oh, we nearly got over. Two meters out. Fifth tackle. <clears throat> Braley. Out the back to Hastings. Hastings gives it off to get Gamble, bro. No. Six again. Oh, he's called six again at the end of the fifth tackle. That's wild. That's wild. So they're 10 meters out in from the line. Cross. I was about to say, why did Gamble run that? And then we find out why he ran it because it was six again. So Kai Pierce Paul, five meters out. Braley gives it off here to Hastings to Crossland. Crossland to five. Why was it bullshit? Logan Paul Zach said, you see what he called? Left-hand side gives it off here to Hetherington. And Hetherington taking down three metres out here in the line. Fit tackle. Braley to Hastings. Hastings gives it off here to Gamble. Gamble short ball. Try time for the Knights. Dylan Lucas goes bang. As 12-4 here with the kick to come. They finally get over the line. Finally over the line. The Knights score. And they're back in the game. I don't know what I've just clicked there. Oh. Um, there we go. Okay, see that. All right, so Raiders do... Sorry, not Raiders. Knight score here through Dylan Lucas. 12-4 to get the uh, VNM says, how's the Raiders been, man? No noise. Well, they lost by about 30 last night. So I, don't, I think that's probably why there's no noise. They lost by like 34 points to 10, didn't they? To the Bronx. Uh, Francois says, uh, I swear when Brian Sherry... Bronston Sherry, you mean? Came back to the Bulldogs. They've gotten better, to be honest. Uh, I don't think it's Bronston Sherry. Uh, but the Dogs have been better. Not fantastic, but better. Cody says, bro, I'm so confused about the Dogs. They've played somewhat decent footy for the previous four, five games. Yeah, but I, and I compare this with the Titans, right? The last two games, the Titans have played some decent footy. The first two games, three games, were awful. But the last two games against the Raiders and the... Uh, Manless Eagles were um, quite decent. But you compete and you still just lose kind of deal. So I hope the Dogs don't do that a year. Uh, I have tipped them. But that's not promising signs because they should be up by a lot more than this, really. They should have been up by a lot more than this. And the Knights will kick it. Make it 12-6. Seven and a half minutes ago, the first half. Go check out TVC Live if you have not already. And the Bulldogs are on report. So there was a tripping. Oh, that's actually a bin, bro. That's a bin for Hutchison, man. How is Hudson not on in the bin? It's like Tedesco the other night. A trip is a bin. That was a deliberate trip on Kai Pierce Paul. That is 100% a sin bin. That is 100% a sin bin. How is he just in a report like Tedesco was just on the report the other day? And knock on here for the ninth, Greg Martio on the first tackle of the set. First tackle set, knock on from Greg Martio. Oh no, Dash, you got timed out because you set a score. You can't talk about that score until we hit 30. Someone hits 30. But yeah, he does lose that ball. Lane Vortex says, just drop Hutch over, please. I agree with you. He should be dropped to the bin right now. Get him off the Bulldogs. He'll be better off for it anyway. I just don't understand why tripping is now not a sin bin. That's the third trip this year that hasn't been binned. Aren't trips always been by the rules? Yes. Yeah. Tedesco the other night. Hutchson just now. He did say bin. Like, you can make an argument that Kai Pierce Paul gets past the tackle there and scores. It's arguably a professional foul. He's deliberately chucked his leg out there. <laughs> I don't get it. So, eight minutes out here in the line. Matt Burke with the ball. First tackle. Reed Marnie right hand side to Hudson. Hudson to Curran. Second tackle here. They're 10 minutes out. 
Lager Paul says, how much more convincing will convince Sorallo to drop Hacho? I don't know, man. I just don't know. Dogs here, kick out. They've actually locked kick out down pretty well here today. Third tackle, eight minutes out. It, people misunderstand that Toby won't be the answer, but Toby will be a better answer. Try time with the dogs. Try time with the dogs. I just think it's a little bit controversial after the no sin bin, but uh, try time there for the dogs, and they will score through Bronson Cherry, and it'll be 16 60 for the kit to come. Yeah, crash play. That was actually. It was nice play. Knights weren't even ready for that whatsoever. Look at this. None of those Knights players are ready for that. Anari Tuala is not great defense. But is it actually his fault? I don't know. I don't know if that's Anari Tuala's fault. That was nice play there from the Dogs. I didn't see him in Brad yesterday in the Panthers game as well. I wasn't able to watch the Panthers. Ooh. It's flat. It's flat. It's flat. It's close, but it's flat. Only fine tea so far. Yeah, it should have been bin that game. I didn't get to watch that Pants Tigers game, man, so I wasn't I'm not able to tell you about this the um trip in that one. Home dinner also sharks should win today, but Cowboys will give them a run for their money. Uh yeah, I'll be streaming that game later on today. Sharkies versus the Cowboys. Uh, I've got the Sharks to win. I've got the Sharkies to win. Uh but yeah, hopefully it's a good game. I just think the Cowboys defense is not good enough. And the Sharks have a decent enough attack. But then again, NRL's been a little bit out of whack lately, so I wouldn't be surprised if Cowboys do win. Tripping rules for codes. AFL free kick, Premier League foul, plus yellow card, NRL, nothing. Well, he's on report, technically. It just doesn't make sense how it's not a sin bin. It's always been a bin. Always. Wasn't there one of the Titans-Dolphins game as well? One of the Dolphins players tripped us? I can't remember. I think it was. And Burton will make the kick. So we'll be 18 6 here with four minutes to go of the first half. Somnath says, Come on the Knights. Yeah, they've got to do a lot better than what they're doing right now. Arguably, controversially, uh, the Bulldogs weren't been the player, but uh, Knights got to do way better than what they're doing right now. That's why the Bulldogs have gotten a lot of better, than last, better than last year. Last season against the Knights, that was an embarrassing game, 66 0. Yeah, and 44 6 in the same season to the Knights. Uh, the dogs have definitely gotten better than last year. The key word is better. They're not like an amazing top eight team yet, but they're on their way back into the frame. They just need a better halfback. And a lot of teams are struggling with halfbacks right now. You watch the Raiders are about to fall off a cliff this year, losing Jamal Fogarty after last night. The Raiders are about to fall off a cliff this year without Fogarty. Obviously, the Titans are struggling without a half. Um, well, it's kind of consensus anyway. But the, the, the Titans obviously would um, love a halfback. You've got... Uh, the Panthers haven't looked exactly impressive without Cleary. The Knights have kind of been struggling. They've got Hastings though, but I don't know if he's bought in too much. Broncos have been doing well with Renault. Renault is a great halfback. Oh, good offload there from kick out. Kick out, that's forward. That's forward, that's not going anyway. That's actually offside. No, don't worry. It's just knock on. Foreign coming up though. Foreign's actually... Yeah, Foz has been good in the seven, actually. Foz was good last night in the seven. Um, but that's not the point, right? Like, ideally, Foz is a six. Ideally. But because of our situation at seven with Tan... Tan had a good game. Decent game last night. Uh, but because of our situation with Tan, it's forcing Foreign, foreign to go to the seven. I don't know why Toby isn't start, starting seven. Like, I believe he should be, but also don't think that he's your saviour. I don't... The, Toby Saxon got on the seven, and I, he's my mate. I know Toby, right? But I, I have to be honest with you and tell you, Toby is not going to light the world on fire and change your team into a premiership contending team. What he's going to do is bring a bit more... I guess it's not just so straightforward. Like, he's a little bit more open and free. Like, he's, he's not the greatest art back ever, but... It just would be a better play than Hutchinson, in my personal opinion. But I will also tell you, but I still don't believe Burton's a 5-8. I, I still don't believe it. I, I would not be against him playing fullback. I'm just throwing it out there. I could see Burton being like a Matty Moylan went at the Panthers before he went to the Sharks fullback. That's what I could see. And Matty Moylan at the Panthers before he went to the Sharks was pretty good. Kai Pierce ball four tackle at the 23. Well, second highest super coach point for the Titans, yeah, because he, he doesn't miss. 
because they don't miss his kicks. Fitzsaga got the 20. Cyprus' so Panthers didn't look that good with a few games Cleary played. Yeah, Panthers definitely look like they're on the downward trajectory. Addo Carr taking down three metres out from their own line. Something I said, I still think the dogs will throw this away in second half like every game. Uh, didn't you, were you in, Oh, you're a Knights fan, that's why. Jason said, Bruce's halves suck. Well, they're missing Sam Walker. They missed Sam Walker. They had Luke Carey and uh, Sam and Smith. No, Connor Watson. Luke Carey and Connor Watson. Connor Watson's a utility nine. And Luke Carey is not a seven anymore. He's a six. And he's on his outwards way as well, to be fair. We mean like every game. We haven't led and lost a game. Oh, I feel like one there at Somnath is a Knights fan. But also two... We both know the Bulldogs are capable of throwing the game away in the second half. But, I would, yeah, I would agree in regards to the actual wording of what Somnath said. So, first tackle now, 22, in regards to you going back at it. But we both know Dogs are still capable of throwing this game away. Actually, did the Dogs lead halftime last week? I think the Dogs lead halftime last week, didn't they? Third tackle here at the Knights, 25 metres out. Crossland, good run. <clears throat> oh, crunch. No, sorry, the Storm led last time. That's where the Dogs came back in that game. So Hastings to Ponga. Ponga at the 40, taking the 45. Tia says, Raiders aren't even good anyway. Not, they've not won against a good team. I agree. Six again here for the Knights. But it doesn't matter. 17 seconds to go here. May as well go for a two-point field goal. May as well. 10 seconds left here in the first half. First tackle, Brayley, Crossland. There you go again to Tawala, Tom Jenkins. Jenkins still going here. Pass the ball, dude. Pass the ball, dude. Pass the ball, dude. Oh, man, he's, a, he's so... Bro, he's not a good winger. You got to, you've got to understand the timing of the game, man. You know they're throwing the ball to you. And in that situation, based off of the clock, man, watch the clock. Pass the ball, bro. He had plenty of opportunity to pass that ball. But it is half time here. It's eighteen six to the dogs. Uh, do you think that if the, I do think the dogs should be up by more? Realistically, uh, the knights have been pretty poor defensively and pretty poor all over the shop. But the dogs haven't been able to come together in that regard to put them to the sword as much as they probably should. But the dogs have been the better team here today. Um, that's why I tipped them. I thought they would be better. Um, a lot of work to be done by both sides, but the dogs definitely be the much happier going to half time. So obviously, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And uh, go check out TBC Live. Actually, we're going to go get our halftime bonus. Uh, let's get our halftime bonus. Let's go get our halftime bonus Amundos. Here we go. Bing bong. That's my halftime bonus claim. So now I've got plenty of points. Plenty of points. Justin Nikowski says, Gus in, knocked down Haney. Ref bailed Haney out. It should be over. This is ridiculing. Wow. He'll just come out and say that it's because of the weight difference. That's what he'll say. Cabbage is the Sharks finally going to stop being pretenders this year? <clears throat> um, I don't know yet, man. I don't know who are they. Uh, who's their next couple of draw? Who's their next couple of games? Um, I want to see them against like a Storm would be good. Uh, Sharks next week after the Cowboys will play the Raiders. Uh, Sharks should whoop them then with no fogs. Uh, then the Sharks will play the Dragons. Sharks should beat the Dragons. Uh, Sharks then play the Storm. That's the one I'm looking for. 11th of May. 11th of May is the one I'm looking at there. Magic Round's actually on quite late this year. That's on around 11, but it's 17th of May. It's actually on quite late. Uh, someone else says, Brad, Brad, Brad best scoring in the second half. Well, that was Hayden's uh, best bet. It's not looking too best bet right now. I just didn't think the Knights would win, and that's why I didn't think that that was a great bet. My spider man says, kick out time, have my flat white. Yeah, I wish I had a coffee right now. I had a coffee before, but um, I wish I had a coffee right now to get me. We've got one more game to go. One more game to go. Anime and Morrison, will the Sharks win against the Cowboys next? I think so. Lane Borsix is looking at this Bulldog 17. Not much from the whole NRL community has said that these Dogs players have been bad this season besides the seven. Oh, well, I'll tell you, it's because the seven's taking such a precedence, right? Because, like, look at the, for example, the Titans. There's only really two people that people are going in on. You know, there's only really two people that people are insulting. It's Tanner Boyd and it's Brian Kelly. 
And it's like, the BK one's a little bit confusing, but the, um, uh, it's understandable but confusing. Tanner Boyd one, unfortunately, I understand. But when you've got players that the community wants to go at, they focus on them and nobody else cops it. Like, there are other players in our team that probably deserve to cop it too, but they don't get it. You know, so the dogs. Hutchinson is in such poor form that people look at him only and they don't look around him. You know, because Kikau's been great this season. I don't think Burton's done a great deal. But people, because they love Burton, Bulldogs fans love Burton, they see him through rose-colored, rose-tinted glasses, right? So regardless of what he does, people don't come for Burton. And that's why, from a non-biased perspective, I still do not think Burton is a 5'8", regardless, right? I just don't think so. I think Connor Tracy's been good, right? Ado had a good game last week. Um... Can't say anything much outside of that, but he's been kind of injured and whatnot. Uh, you know, your centers have been okay. Crichton probably deserves a bit more criticism. It deserves a bit of criticism because he's not the play wasn't the Panthers, but then again, that was obvious coming into the season. Um, like Max, King, Max King's doing fine, but is he doing enough? Uh, Reid Marnie deserves a lot more criticism, that's for sure. A lot of criticism, that is for sure. But he doesn't because all the hate goes towards Hutchinson. It's what happens with teams. People focus on one player. It's the scapegoat. But yeah, I could absolutely go through players and tell you who needs to do better. Um, and that's coming from a point of, like, it's not my team. So I can tell you. Uh, but then Bulldogs fans will come at me and say, and this is the thing with my channel, right? Like, if I have any bit of criticism for the Dogs, Dogs fans go, oh, you hate the Dogs. Again, don't hate the Dogs. The only team I hate is the Broncos. And even now, I don't even really care anymore. Even now, I just want to see the Titans win. I don't really care. You know, like, I don't actually have hate for any club, really. Uh, Somna says, how's Pong looking this game? It hasn't done much. Stubber says, it would probably still the better player, but it hasn't done much. Stubber says, isn't Critter the Dogs captain? Yes. Yeah, he is. But because people love him, and people see him as that Panthers player, he doesn't get the criticism that he probably is warranted. It's like AJ Brimo. Love Brimo. Brimo is an amazing bloke, and puts it in for this team. But also, um, even if he has a poor game, people will never look at him for it. And it's good. I don't want people to have a crack at him. But even if he does have a poorish game, people look past that because they love him. And that's an issue with a lot of clubs. You know, um, Munster will get criticism. But you don't... Well, to be fair, when you've got a big enough fan base, you do see that... Smaller fan bases, you find it difficult. A lot of players don't get actually caught up on it. I don't know if you know what I mean. Uh, keep a second, says, Wise fan here, going to be a close one between Titans and Wise based on the performance in the Dragons game? Uh, mate, I hope so. I hope so. I'm not going over there with any expectations, but I hope so. I'm just going over there to enjoy my time. Uh, but I will be there, and I'll be getting loud and proud. Uh, but I'm not going over there with any expectations. I'm just going there to support the boys and, and, and hopefully get over the line. Uh, but look, I think that if we play like we did last night and the Warriors play like they did on Friday, then yeah, I think we win. But I, I can't guarantee that. I think the Warriors will come out with a bit of a bit of a something something on the Anzac Day, a sold out crowd there in New Zealand. I think they'll have a bit more to pr- a bit, bit a lot to prove. Garcia knocked down Haney again, again. Uh, I got told a couple of minutes ago uh, that he did. So is that again? Dinky Lee's a ton of boys on an NRL standard halfback. That's great. He didn't play halfback yesterday. Uh, Eliza Flawla says, isn't spicy the new word for mental? What? Spot Mr. Sharks with Cowgirls up next. Yep, we'll be live streaming that game as well. We will be live streaming that game as well. <clears throat> I'm glad that these are early games today. It's not like a force p.m. start and then a 6 p.m. start. It's a 2 p.m. start and then a 4 p.m. start. So um, we'll have plenty of time to, to chill out. Uh, Brock's was here three minutes ago. <clears throat> wow. So is Garcia clearly winning that fight? Is he like clearly on top? Would you say, what would you score the fight so far? I don't know how long it's been going for. What would you score the fight so far? Because no one else is saying anything positive about... Um, no one else is saying a positive, uh, anything positive about Gar- uh, about Haney. Oh, Garcia's carving him. Oh, man. That's funny, man. I mean, I'm telling you, Haney will just come out and say that the three-pound kilogr- three advantage is what's going to win it for him. But 
<clears throat> I think Hayne is just a little cat. Uh, Somna says, is it a 20 minute break? It's only a 10 minute break. Richard Ruggins says, hi, BK. I hope the Wise West Titans a good game this week. Hope we win after that rubbish game on Friday. You guys were great last night and, with the, sh and the stream was cool with young Hayden in the seat. Yeah, appreciate that in regards to Hayden. It's good to see that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, no, I hope you lose on Thursday. <laughs> Lagan Bowling says, now nah, scorecard's saying Haney won rounds two to six, but besides that, Garcia killing him. Haney won rounds two to six. It, well, it doesn't sound like Haney's killing him from what I've been, t been told here. Um, it doesn't sound like Haney should be winning all those rounds, but that's interesting. Well, then now we're just going to see who will call for it being a robbery, regardless of the result then. Ponga hindered in the first half by hip injury. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah, they're, they're saying Ponga was hindered by in the first half by the hip injury. You could tell. You could tell. Oh, don't forget the vlog will come out tomorrow. It'll probably come out tomorrow morning for you uh, members, but it'll probably come. It will come out at five pm tomorrow for everybody else. And then on Tuesday we will do a tipping stream, and Wednesday I'll film something to come out. Haney 76, Garcia 74. Knockout. Haney down. Hey, really? Haney down. Haney down. Haney down. Is it actually knocked out? Did Haney actually get knocked out? That will be insane if that's the case. That would be insane, man. If you are just tuning in, guys, it is half time right now. 18 6 to the dogs over the Knights. I'm going to get make some predictions here for the second half of the... Um, oh, I got up. Well, that's a, that's a two-point round, isn't it? That's a 10-8 round. If he's knocking down twice in the one round, that's a 10-8 round. Um, okay, so... Second half... Oh, I've got to go get rid of that one anytime prediction, which was... What was it? Um, <clears throat> draw at half-time. Wrong. Do you get a nice many chance second half? Of course I do. They're only down by 12 points. Um, Alright, so let's go make a prediction. First 10 minutes here. This is TBC Live. Pin comment in the chat, guys. TBC Live, I will say... Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Bulldogs score next. Bulldogs score next try before 50th minute. Boys score next try before 50th minute. Okay, you can go vote on that now. Vote on that, little bad boy. Oh, no. No, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. No, I meant to vote it. No. <laughs> Loving it there on TBC Live. I meant to vote, not thumbs it up. Bulldogs score next try before 50th minute. There you go. Bulldogs score next try before 50th minute. Post that. Now, I'm not going to... Do that. Now we'll do that. And then we'll have an any time one of Bulldogs 1 to 12 win. Bulldogs 1 to 12 win. So the Knights still stick in it, but there we go. There we go. He's back up. Lot like says this stream is hyped, mad energy, never mind the game. Uh, I wouldn't say the energy in this stream is that great, to be fair. It's not been the greatest of games. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Justin Gaz says he's got a point. He got a point taken in one of the rounds, so the one knockdown is a wash. Oh, Garcia got. Apparently, Garcia's been turning his back to Haney when Haney puts pressure on. Really? Travis Gaz says, You're back. What do you mean I'm back? I haven't left. Flares says, Dude, get some sleep. You never get sleep. When you're a content creator, you do what I do, man. It's 24-7, man. You can't get a break. That's why I can't wait for Fiji at the end of the year. <laughs> then that's when you get a break. Uh, Mr. says, Hey, didn't let a punch round 10. Next round, knockout for Garcia. There you go. How long to restart? Something that I don't know. I don't know. I'm waiting here, just like you. <laughs> Ref is stopping every clinch. To be fair, I probably could go and try out, um, watch a little bit while we are in half time here. Uh, boxing. It would be on like VIP box TV though, because you are still waiting. Uh, Devin Haney Garcia. Click on that little bad boy. See if it goes. I just hope it doesn't mess up the stream. 
Eliza, settle down, man. Like we 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 are talking about this as half time. We we're, we're going to talk about boxing because we enjoy boxing. Like it's half time. You don't get to dictate what we talk about. Like <laughs> you don't get to dictate what we talk about, man. Settle down. I'm in, I enjoy boxing. It's half time right now. The game is not on. If the game was on, we wouldn't be talking about this. Like, <laughs> damn, that's a good right and left. If you've got a question about the Bulldogs Knights game, then feel free to put it there. Like, feel free to put it in the chat, but for the time being, it's half time. Like, <laughs> geez, yeah, that was a good couple of punches there. And the left hook there as well. Round 11, this is probably going to go the distance, to be fair. All right, I think we're about three. I think the game is about to start, though, for the second half. I mean, it says, bro, this ref isn't letting Ryan punch me. He keeps stopping it. Probably because they don't want Garcia winning it, especially when he deliberately came in overweight. She can say, G'day, Blaze. What was your thoughts on the Titans game? I'd be proud if I was a Titans supporter. Yeah, how many times are you proud, um, but compete, but proud, you know? Like, I'm, I'm happy that we're competing again, but in the same sense, I want to win. But we spoke about it at the beginning of the, of the game here. Um, yeah, we'll see, bro. I'll be in New Zealand. I mean, it says, if, it feels like maybe we're all over again. France 1 to 5 says, I'm liking that loss last night, by the way, when the vlog came out. I literally just said this, but 5 p.m. tomorrow. For members, so $5 a month for a member, you get it um, tomorrow morning. Seven minutes, dogs put 40 plus on them. They should have been up by like 30 in the first half, to be fair. They just couldn't really, um, they just couldn't really get it going. Flies to hate boxing, but I still sus. Garcia is whooping him right now, man. Oh, jeez, you can see Haney's face is messed up, bro. Haney's face is messed up. Madness. He's messed up. So the second half is about to start here, guys. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new around here. Man, too funny. So Knights now will bring this ball out to the 15. And drag back to the 10. Drag back to the 10. And knock on from the Knights again. Greg Marty. They're going to try and challenge us, I reckon. Oh, I don't know. Um, my prediction is Knights score next try before the 50th minute. Yeah, I predicted that. Oh, I predicted the Bulldogs score before the 50th minute, actually. And I think they're going to challenge us here tonight. Oh, man. Haney just got rocked. <laughs> he got up, though. But he's get. Oh, there's no way Garcia loses that. All right, so let's go have a look. Curtis Moran comes down with the forearm and knocks the... It's going to be a penalty here to the Knights. Uh, Yep, penalty the Knights. It's why he's hanging down, gives a quiz, bro. Uh, great start, nearly time for your signature down by 30 plus two points. What? So they're going to say this is a penalty here to the Knights. All right. So let's try and bring this chat back to rugby league now. With the game being on, just let me know of the updates. Just update me in regards to the um, the fight uh, at the end of each round. We don't need to spam the chat with it, but just let me know when things are happening. If there's another knockdown or something. So Knights will get the ball hit to 30. And now they'll get this ball to the 35 through Kai Pierce Paul. Actually, how's Super Coach looking right now for Kai Pierce Paul? Sam Hughes on 51, is he? Sam Hughes 51, Kai Pierce Paul 34. I take that. I take it. He's already above his break even, KPP, so I'll take that. And right side, Dylan Lucas, third tackle inside the attack and half. Out to Crossland. Crossland to Jackson Hastings. And Hastings now, 40 metres out. Now 30. No, at the 40. Fourth tackle. Need to see them actually. Uh, this is a good set by metres wise for the Knights. I bet on Garcia plus 500 odds. It's not a bad bet, to be fair. And Adokar will get taken down. Five to one is quite wild. I did say I like I thought Haney would win, but like I wanted Garcia to win. It's just that you didn't know if he was mentally right, you know. If you know anything about that, you know what I'm talking about. Con Tracy goes to the ten. It'll be his third tackle. They're not making any meters here, the dogs. They're not making any meters right now. Right inside to Kiraz. And we'll be full tackle at the 15. Don't forget, guys, later on today, we will be doing the Sharks versus the Cowboys at 4 p.m. 
We'll be starting off with that. Dogs now, fifth tackle like the 35. I would have expected there to be more points, to be fair, in this um, first half. In the first half, I would have expected there to be more. Thomas Jenkins grabs that ball at 10. Good kick there from Burton. And Jenkins will get taken down at the 15 and dragged back to the 10. So it's looking like a grind here in this first few moments of this second half. And again, slapped down at the 10. That was at least a good tackle there by Reid Marnie. Oh, is it that bad? Spodomac, is he getting slapped around uh, Haney that much? Third tackle at the 20. Oh, Cameron Ponger is still clutching. Man, I, I really don't think that it's worth the risk, man. I think he... Oh, it's actually Thomas Jenkins that's injured right now. You can see the hip was... Oh, Crossland. Oh, he couldn't get the offload away. There was no one on the inside. Am I 6 for 6 this week? Well, no, of course I take the Titans every week. Um, I realistically, I would tip Manly, but... Oh, no, I would have tipped the Titans this week. I thought we had a good chance. Uh, obviously, I tipped the Bronx. I did tip the Panthers. No, no way would you have tipped the Dragons, Bright. No one's 6 for 6. No one's 6 for 6. Anyone 6 for 6, they're a Dragons fan. No one tipped the Dragons over the wires. All right, so Dogs now taking down at the 40, third tackle. Garcia turned the scores around. Now it's 1 3 1 2. Yeah, Garcia should definitely win. Based off what you guys are saying, Garcia definitely should win. I'll watch the highlights after I finish that Sharks Cowboys stream later on. So, fourth tackle, Reed Marnie gives up the current. Current at the halfway point, fifth tackle. And they're at the 45. Garcia won. There you go. Good stuff. Is that like. Oh, he did knock him out. Oh, he has knocked him out. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Blessings of God. So first tackle now for the Knights at the 12. It's good to see that. Pr oh. I don't know what to say. Second tackle at the 15. And now they'll get this ball to the 25. Oh, if he didn't knock him out, then... Okay, yeah. Ty hey, moderators, can you time out Justin Tukowski for saying that? Four tackle now at the 35. <clears throat> a right-hand side, Kai Pierce Paul, and Pierce Paul at the 45. Oh, that's a good run here by the number 19. Bro Jones taken down inside the attack and half. And now they'll kick this ball into the corner. Good kick. That sits, and it does go right at the 10. So good. This is really kind of a battle of, um, you know, mentality right now in this opening five minutes of the second half. This is a real battle of who wants it more and the attitude of both teams in this early part of the second half. <clears throat> so Adokar, Hutchinson, and now Giraz gets it to the 15. It's not the most exciting game. I won't lie to you. Like it's not it's not the most exciting of games here. But it just takes one moment, man. Turn around. If the Dogs score next, though, like this game will be over, really. But if the Knights score next, this will be game on. Third tackle here at the 35. They're arguing for knock on there, I think. Dogs, fourth tackle now at the 40 through Curtis Morin. I think Curtis Morin has been decent enough for the Dogs this year. Kind of, kind of Tracy gets his ball inside the attack and a half. Fifth tackle. And Hutchinson will whack it up. And nice grab it at the 10. Okay, Somnath, we, we're very well aware and understanding that you are a Knights fan. You only reckon that because you want it to happen. You're not actually saying it because you think you're loving. You want it to happen. Second tackle here at the 20. And they'll go left-hand side here. The Knights to Brabham Best. And Best with a strong run to the 35. Third tackle here. Braley. Good. Oh, that arguably is a penalty to the Knights. Didn't call it, though. No, nah, but it's a, his gut feelings that will happen. <laughs> my gut feeling has actually been right so much recently, but I never go with my gut in regards to tipping. I just haven't been doing my gut. I should be trusting it more. Alright, so dogs now... To the 22. First tackle. 
And Burt knocked out of car. Out of car, locked down at the 25. I, I think what the Knights have done well today is locked down for the game of kick out. Some said a lot of shit games the last two. Oh, that's a penalty here to the Bulldogs. A lot of shit games the last two weeks apart from Titans games. <laughs> yeah, at least our games have been exciting. At least, at least our games have been exciting. We may have been losing, but at least we've been having a bit of fun involved in it. Like, the vlog, the vlog will still go crazy tomorrow. We still get pretty pretty lit throughout the game, but... Um, yeah, at least our games have been pretty exciting recently. Well, the last time we played New Zealand, we won by a Tanner Boyd field goal, so... Hopefully that's the case this week. So, Dogs now, Josh Curran to the halfway point. It'll be first tackle. Let's see if the Dogs can win this set. It's not really an attacking set, but it might turn into one. Garcia wins. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, we love that. Get that into your Devon Haney. Uh, this ref is a dick when it comes to CPTs. CPT, are you talking about the like captain? I don't think the ref's going to do with the captain of your super coach team. Third tackle now at the 30. Dis the dogs to take. What on earth comment was that, Spider-Man? Dis the dogs to take. Fourth tackle to get the 25. And Reed Marnie out to Hutchison. Hutchison runs it himself. Don't know why, but cool. Fifth tackle now at the 15. Eshay Bar. Eshay Bar. Too hard. It's going to go dead. That's a try. Wow. Ponga did not let. He was waiting for it to go dead. It didn't go dead, and the dogs will score. And that's the right prediction on TBC Live. That is the correct prediction on TBC Live. So, I got that. Bulldogs next trouble for the 50th minute. Bang. Did happen. Did happen. Club is to get Ponga off. I think Ponga has to come off. That's pretty obvious there that he would know better than that in that situation. And I think his hip is in... in I think his hip is too much impacting him there. I think his hip is impacting him there. Because I'm surprised. It did start to slow down there. He's not... You can very clearly see that he's not full on here. No, you can clearly see he's not full on there. I think Ponga has to come out. He has to come out. He's clearly injured on his hip. Look at the way he's movement. Look at the movement there. His hips are... He's just not moving correctly. Look at him. He's... Yeah, no way. No way. Yeah, Ponga's got to come off. He's got to come off. All right, so Bailey Hayward scores two games. First try of his career. First try of his career. 30 minutes to go of the game. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. It is 24 to 6. The dogs do convert. He's high. No, he's not high. He's just injured. Kalen Ponga is injured. He should not be playing. This is why I tips the dogs. Look at the way he moves. You can tell he is injured. You can see that he's injured. And if we can see it, why can the medical staff not see it? Look at him. How do we see it, but they don't? Uh, maybe to Wale into fullback. Uh, I think that's your only opportunity of the Knights, really. I have a look at the team list. Uh, yeah, you'd go an arrow to Wale there. And you'd probably move Kai Pierce Paul into the centres. I'd assume. Yeah, that's what I'd do. Yeah. You'd move Kai Pierce Paul into the centres. You'd probably put like a Brody Jones or something on in the back row. Or maybe even Dylan Lucas into the centres. Sorry, Dylan Lucas would probably go to the centres. So right-hand side, they give it off here to Josh Curran. And Curran now gets his ball to the 45, third tackle. Price again, O'Brien's an idiot. I think O'Brien's just kind of... He, if the medical staff allowed it to happen, then I don't blame O'Brien. I blame the medical staff. Uh, because the medical staff have said it's okay, but you can very clearly see that it's a problem. Matt Burton taking out the 30 with fifth tackle. Again, I, I'm not a big fan of O'Brien at all. I've been his biggest attractor for years, but with that being said, if the medical staff approved it, then it's not really on the coach to say, oh, you're injured. If he's got his best players available... He's selecting his best players available in his in his mind. So second tackle at the 15. 
All right, that should be offside. That should have been a penalty, and it is a penalty. Don't worry about that. He's the boss. But again, medical staff know more about him than in the medical game, right? So if a medical... I will ask you, right? So let's assume that you haven't done a degree in your doctorate or whatever, right? So let's assume you haven't done that. If a medical practitioner said to you, he's all good to play, your best player, Tena Fasul Malawi is good to play. He's good to play tomorrow. Do you trust their word or do you think you know better? Because I'm trusting my medical practitioner who went through a doctorate to get to where they were. So that's why it's not Adam O'Brien's fault if Kalapong is playing injured because he's been told that he's able to be playing. Third tackle at the 30. So left hand side. It's got nothing to do with the player's choice. I couldn't care less what Kalapong has to say. Couldn't care less. The medical practitioner has cleared him to play. It's got nothing to do with Adam O'Brien. If the medical practitioner has said, you're okay, then I'm putting him in. Because the medical has said yes. Eliza, I'm going to say, you post the most random comments on these streams, eh? Random. So second tackle now for the Bulldogs at the 28. Slap, I'm probably not going to read that coming out. Second tackle here in Crichton at the 30. Pungham was told to stay on. Well, he was told to stay on? Well, that's when you start agreeing with Flurry and saying it's Adam O'Brien. If he's told to stay on now, where did you hear this? He was told to stay on. Where did you hear this? Because we didn't hear it here. Four tackle now. Reid Marnie, Drew Hudson. Hudson at the back. No, it doesn't. He goes and runs it in the line himself. Fifth tackle. Just put him in the back row at this point, Hudson. Put him in the back row. Reid Marnie. In the corner, just try and slow it down. And Marts, you just lets it go. So it will be nice ball here at the 10. I tell you what, Mars has had a pretty poor game. The super coach owns Tom Sayon. Do you still have him, Blake? Did you get rid of him? Never trust a doctor I'm married to one. Well, then what's the point? Flurry, just admit we're wrong, man. A medical practitioner is signed for this job. They're signed to do this. There's no point having a medical practitioner in the game. There's no point having a doctor there if you're not going to trust their word. What are you saying? I don't understand what you're arguing here. If a medical practitioner is signed to a club, I am way more listening to their opinion over my opinion because it's their job to have a better opinion than me. So if I'm a coach, I'm listening to my doctor. The doctor knows more about the injury than I do. It's not rocket science, man. Like, I would trust you in regards to understanding that kind of situation than I do, right? Like, <laughs> out of kind of kind, it's a six again. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. They have a job for a reason. Oh my, okay, we're moving on with this conversation. You can't be reasoned with. You can't be reasoned with. They aren't always right. They're more right than me, who has never done anything right in regards to the doc being, becoming a doctor. <laughs> like, dear me. It's medical science, man. It's me at least, they've at least got a doctorate. They've at least got a education in that industry. I do not. The coach does not. So I absolutely take their word for it rather than my own. Like, it's crazy. How are you not understanding what I'm saying? I don't get it. Jackson Hastings now to... Um, to... Oh, I'm baffled, Flurry. I'm baffled. I'm baffled that you don't understand what I'm saying. So the Knights now get this board at 35. Whether they get it wrong or not, they get it right more often than I get it right. Because I guess what? I did not go to university for being a doctor. Third tackle now at the 25. Good offload. Or well, not a good offload. The back. Crichton's away. Crichton's away. Well, he caught it before it went down. So it's first out of the dogs at the 45. Place I get it, but he shouldn't have played what I said. Well, you should probably get a job at Newcastle then, shouldn't you? <laughs> so Burton here, he'll run this ball at 28. Third tackle. Reed Marnie goes right hand side, gives it off to the Hutchinson. Hutchinson here to Max King, and Max King here at the 15. No, at the time I thought he got the finish. Well, that's your issue, though. You you can't don't say you got the finish when you didn't even know he, did, he when he didn't get the finish. <laughs> like, 
At this rate, it will take a K over them, but you're back now, so you just move on. So Reed Money now, right hand side, gives off to Josh Curran. Josh Curran. Wow, wow, defense. Oh, wow. Who's that? Who just stopped that try? That was nice. Was that Ty oh, Tyson Gamble's gone to the fullback? So Reed Money. Reed Money. Wow, they're actually doing some, Gamble's doing some good job defensively in this set. Third tackle. And short ball, Max. Well, look, okay, that was awful from Curran. Four tackle here, two metres out from the line. Reed Marnie, right hand side, Hutchinson. Hutchinson taken down five metres out from the line. Well, I don't know why he keeps running the ball, man. This has been a pretty awful set so far. Still good score, but so far it's been dreadful. That was a really, really bad attacking set from the dogs. Somehow says, nice need to score three tries in the next 10 minutes to have any chance to win. No. They need to score one try in the next 10 minutes to have any chance to win. There's 22 minutes to go here in the game. What is with some comments today? <laughs> what, you think they need to be tied 24-24 with 12 minutes to go to have any chance to win? No, they need to be within two tries before the 10th minute to have a chance to win, really. Why do they keep going right? I was getting suffocated. I don't understand why Viliami Kikau gets no ball for this Dogs team. They will win more games. Kikau's charged it down. It's going to be a nice knock on, I think. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Kickout's very good with his charge downs, though. If I'm any team, I'm not taking my kicks from the right hand side of the field. Giovanni Batella, yeah, W Garcia, man. Good, good hit. Good. Uh, I don't know why they're challenging this. This should be unsuccessful. It should be Bulldogs ball. All right. Someone else says, yeah, remember Storm Game of the Knights? You have... You're baffling. You have no idea what you're talking about. This is a knock-on for the Knights, I think. This is just a knock-on for the Knights. So I don't think you actually watched the Storm game. The Bulldogs came back in that game. The Bulldogs went up and then fell apart. The Bulldogs came back in that game. Right leg, playing at this stage. Yeah, but he knocked it on the ground here. To be fair, he's getting tackled right there. This might be a penalty night. Hey, there is a, Bailey Haywood does have the... Oh, like, it is a knock-on from Jason Hastings, but I don't think they've actually taken into account that Haywood has his hand on Hastings, but I think it's all right. So, knock-on there for the Knights. It's crazy, Slab, It really is. It's crazy. <laughs> so, this is kick out never played it, technically. What well, hits his left hand. So, Bulldogs ball here at the 30. Jaden Morris, Bulldogs 34 12, I reckon. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, thank you for reminding us of round three. We kick our uh, Vossi. Thank you, mate. This is good to see Dogs possibly moving to top eight after buy next week. Uh, it's a chance. I haven't really looked at the ladder. Don't think so, but I'll have to have a look at the ladder. So Bulldogs here with the ball at the 22. And they'll be taking down 15 metres out here from the line. Second tackle. Out to Hutchinson. Hutchinson here to Burton. Burton here. Karaz out of Oh, no, I think he's out. I think he's out here. It might be a try. I think he's out. Yeah, they're going to go to the bunker. He's out here. His legs have gone out. His legs have gone out here. That was so close. Who'd they drop the fullback? Did they say? Yeah, Tyson Gamble went to the fullback. But he was defending in fullback before anyway. Bulldogs had a minus seven points differential before this game. I mean, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, he's actually up. He's, he's actually, his feet actually went up. He does not go on a touch, so it is a try time. So it will be 28 to 6 here with the kit to come. It is a try time with the kit to come. Yeah, my 7 isn't anything to be proud about, I mean, sir. But your uh, the points difference will be better after this game, but before this game, it wasn't good. Uh, Jeff Jackson says, I don't know what Knights have to do to get my to get good. Damn, so many questions, no answers. I miss this, I was two points off. She'll sure. no, I'm saying that's not good. Minus seven, minus five isn't good. I don't know where you, why you're proud of that. Um, but it'll be better after this. 
you said that their points differential was good before this game. No, it wasn't. Minus seven is not good um, at all. But it'll be better after this because now you'll be in the positives. I'm saying that it was ridiculous. In 14 spots, minus seven isn't good. No. Anything under negative, anything under zero is not good. Anything under zero is not good. Again, try to compliment here, but you're obviously not listening. The dogs are going to have a good points differential, but before this game, anything under zero is not good. You did say it was good. Oh man, people in this chat today have been wild. People in this chat today have been wild. You guys are all over the shop. 20 minutes to go here at the game, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. <laughs> people, are just, people are wild, man. People, people are dead set. People are wild. Oh, people are wild. This person just said my spy is good. And then they've gone and said that I never said it was good. <laughs> you guys need help. You need help, man. Sometimes, sometimes people just need, <laughs> need help. 36 here, guys. And 20 minutes to go of the game. Doggy's playing well. Doggy's playing well. Low Calix says, come on, doggies. Spider-Man is over now. Dog the winner. Yeah, dogs win this game. Dogs win this game for sure. Sorry, I missed out. I've had to time you out. You, you blew my mind just then. You blew my mind. You blew my mind. Oh, no. Currents with foot over. It's going to be a drop ball. A drop out, sorry. So, I've never seen these people before. Makes sense. It's just... Why is it today that people <laughs> decide to just speak in gibberish? Like, the person goes, oh, yeah, no, we had a good points differential of minus, f minus five or whatever before this round. And then I said, well, no, that's under zero. You want to be above zero. Anything under zero with a negative points differential is or is not good. And then they said, then they challenged me on it. Oh, that's coming. Bulldogs born there away here. Jamie Salmon. Salmon and Curran. Curran's still going here. Curran's taking another halfway point. So, dogs ball here, 45 metres out of the line. They challenged me on it. And then after I said, no, anything under zero is not good. Then they go, I never said it was good. <laughs> People need help, bro. And <laughs> it's all there. Steve says, if your difference is in the minuses, then what it, that is shit. That's what I'm trying to say, Steve. And it was crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Second take a look at the doggies. But again, to be a positive for the dogs here, they're going to be in the positive now. They're winning by 24 points. So they'll be on like plus 17 or something, plus 16 or something. So that's good. That's good. But my seven is not good. <laughs> Four tackle here at the 30. Hey, right hand side. He gives it off here to Tracy. Tracy here to seven Crichton. Crichton at 25. I could see the doggies hitting a freaking 40. I reckon they could get a 40 here. Olivia, read with the eight dollar redo donation. I'll read this out in a second, Olivia, but thank you. Hutchinson puts that ball up. Chance for the dogs. Oh, no. Is that a dropout or is that. Yeah, dropout. Olivia says, G'day, another day, another donation. I'm exhausted. Good win last night despite the weather. We just need to work on our fading in the second half. Yeah, I'm exhausted for all the other reasons. <laughs> Ooh, that might be a knock on salmon. It might check this in the bunker, but either way, it's a drop out of a seven tackle set. Well, block of I don't need to challenge it when it comes to that. Um, bunker should have already called that, but it'll be Bulldogs boy at the 15. But yeah, appreciate you, Olivia, for the donor. Uh, Jason, my head hurts. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so second tackle now, 15 metres out here from the line. Jeff Jackson says, Knights win this. I believe the next person who tells me they won Lotto. Knights aren't winning this game, bro. Dogs have won this game. Third tackle now, five metres out of the line. Dogs playing with some passion this year. A lot to still work on here with the Doggies. They're playing a pretty awful nice team. But with that being said, the Dogs definitely deserve to be up by as much as they are. They probably should be up by more, to be fair. They probably should be up by more. Um, but Ponga should never have played in this game for the Knights. They still don't know what their halves combo is. Um, they're just really lost right now, man. They should never have signed Adam O'Brien for a three-year extension. That was wild. Oh, chance for the Doggies. 10 minutes out for the line fit tackle. Dasha says, yeah, my team's minus 100 points down. We're pretty good. <laughs> Well, they were trying to say, like, oh, we're in 14th with a minus 7. Is that not good? <laughs> like, come on. I don't care. Oh, this is going to be close again. I think he, if he didn't, if he scored the last one, then I've got to assume he scores this one. But he might have put his legs down again. But if he scored the last one, then I'm sure he scored this one. If he scored, yeah, Justin Sunder says, surely not. I'm going to expect that his legs are up here. It looked exactly the same as the last one, but I'm 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 gonna expect he keeps it up. I'm gonna expect he keeps it up. No, he's out this time. 
So why I, I looked the exact same? How the last one be a no tri a try? But that one's not a try. But there you go. So it will not be a try to the dogs. Ado Carp does put his foot out. Dogs playing some fast. Sean. Jeff Jackson says might as well hire Latron Mitchell now. Can't get any much worse. Uh, that's random. That's extremely random. And that's going to be Bunker will be not try. Don't forget, guys, we'll be doing Sharkies Cowboys right after this. Someone just commented on my picture of me at the game and said, did you see that game? People are wild, bro. People are wilding. People are wild today. What is wrong with people today? I took a photo at the Titans vs. Manly game. Someone asked me if I saw the game. They commented on the photo of me at the game. Knights with the ball in first tackle, 15 meters out. And yeah, it was no try. So first tackle here, it's Sunday as well. Ah, oh, Sunday, but we're not even in the second stream yet. The second stream is when people get crazy, man. The second stream is when people get crazy. Chase, says, did you see the game? Nah, man, nah, 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 nah. I was watching Geelong beat the Lions. Spyro says, wait for the next game. Yeah, the next game, next stream is usually when the crazies really come out. Full attack now for the Knights. Did I see that game? That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. So the Knights, Hastings, Gamble. Gamble gets bought at the halfway point. Fits out. Oh, full attack gets the offload away to Hastings. Can you get the offload away? Can't. I see a Panda fan. No, it's a Titans fan. So Crossland now will put that ball up. I think, anyway. And Connor Tracy slapped down. Is he tackling air? It was close. It was whether his left foot was down or not. It must have just been down. Someone now says, is it 34-6? No, it's 30-6. So if the score says it here... No, it's 30, no, that's right. That's right, right there. Sebastian says, lots of charities help people like that. <laughs> You're not wrong, mate. You're not, you're not, you're not wrong. Hey, Sebastian, are you enjoying watching our team this year? Four tackling out at 45. Don't jump off the wagon, son. Sebastian, you are always a Titans fan, mate. You made that sacrifice. You chose. You chose to go, okay, son. Welcome. Join me, friend. Join me. Out of car. He's going to the sideline. Oh, no. Good work. 35 minutes out, fit tackle. What's happening with people today? Mate, the second stream's usually the craziest. So this is what they're now... God help us. And Gamble gets his ball. I miss his unreformed. Yeah, we'll, we'll make that decision soon. I mean, we'll, we'll make that decision if you're reformed. Olivia says, yeah, you on the big screen, the Fanatics bar at Suncourt was pretty cool. Oh, true. Yeah, when uh, one of our... I was pointing at the camera saying Tanner doesn't miss because he was getting his kicks, obviously. All right, so left-hand side. And it'll be Greg Matthews. Third tackle to the 35. He's get, he always gets some good post-contact meters. Somnath says, Knights nice winners, watch this. Somnath, I will give you $17 billion with a B if the Knights win this game. Billion. With a B. Kai Pierce Paul to the 35. You fit tackle. To the 30. Still going. Post contact means I'm unbelievable. Uh, you know what? I'll give you $13 trillion with a T. T for thank you for saying something stupid. Fit tackle, they lose it. Boo do boo. T says, what happened to Ponga? To, uh, what happened to Ponga? I missed it. Went off injured. Shouldn't have played the game. Was injured since the start. What did I say before the game started when I was doing my prediction? I said, I don't think Ponga gets through the full 80. He was talking on a pre-game interview that he had an injection to get him to half time because of his hips. Should never play. Should never play. So I took the dogs and that's why they win him. Because the Knights aren't really a one-man team, in my opinion. And... They still don't know their halves. They still all other shot. So, yeah, Ponga just went off because of the injury. Oh, Cherry gives the ball out of the car. There is a way. My business has got the words out wrong. I meant to say if we win like 20 to 30 plus, it's good because we're only minus seven considering if you... Um, <laughs> minus seven is I just got timed out by Cherry. <laughs> I know based off of the, what I just got to read before you were timed out... Um, it, I, I understand what you're saying, but let's move on. Oh, that's a knock-on. Oh, referees. Oh, they... <laughs> oh, 
That's that's PTSD from last night. How is Touchy's impossible to understand forward passes? How how is it that Touchy's really struggle? They're challenging this. If I'm the bunker, I say screw you, and I call this a knock on right now. So not too sure what the Bulldogs are challenging here because this is absolutely forward right now. That is so forward. <laughs> No, oh, 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 they're going to call out a knock-on. They're going to call out a knock-on, are they? It's actually technically a four pass. You can't ruin four passes. No, we can call it a knock-on, though. Couldn't do that for Jason Saab last night, though, way. Eh? So you couldn't call that for, for Jason Saab last night. Couldn't call that for Jason Saab last night, but you can call it there. Could not call it for Jason Saab last night, but you can call it there. Clowns, bro. He got injured last week against the Roosters. Should have gone off then. Bingo. Bro, I don't even know how many zeros in a trillion. Well, you're about to find out. When the Knights score 24 points in the next 13 minutes, apparently. Uh, yeah, I saw that, that uh, Garcia won, man. I was hoping that was going to be the case. Touches try to have a running race against the wingers. Yeah, but it's like last night's pass was eight metres forward. <laughs> that one was closer, but it was still obvious. So, Knights here with the ball. Look <clears> at <throat> this ball here to the 45. As long as there's not too many stoppages, I might get about a 10-minute break. How good? How good? It's still pouring down rain here on the Gold Coast. What's the point of touchy? It's a very good question, mate. Very, very, very good question. Jackson Hastings here at the 40. And it will be Brayley. Six again. Here's the comeback. Somnath. Here they come. Zoe Pedro says close game yesterday. Yeah, we gave it a crack. We gave it a crack. Just little individual moments we need to really sharpen up on. Rocky Sports says the NRL has some future NFL quarterbacks coming up. Yeah, Jason Saab, Reese Walsh, Stephen Crichton. Seminary says they screwed the Titans over twice. Yeah, I still scaled up to 34 points, but it was there's there was some really bad refereeing in that game. But we still got 34 points, mate. Oh Knights! Oh! oh I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's been held up by William Kick out here. No try. I think it's gonna be four tackle ten days out. Please can't wait to hear Graham on Monday. I, if I wasn't going to get copyrighted by the NRL, I would watch a game, slow it down, and I would call out. I would actually video it and call out every incorrect decision in the game. I'd do it, just to spite them. Oh, he won't get there. No try. Held up. Can you challenge touch those decisions or just the referees? Well, it depends on what it is. If it's a forward pass, then no, you can't challenge that. Yeah, I don't know if you could challenge an offside... You shouldn't be able to, considering that they said last week with the Rays game, the bunker can't intervene with offside. 10 metres. Subjective. Wrong. You can. But Graham Annesley is a wanker. So it's going to be a nice ball here, 10 metres out in the line. Just always depends on what it is. All right, so nice here, Crossland, four tackle, Adam Elliott. And he'll be 15 metres out now, fifth tackle. Braley, left-hand side here to Hastings. Hastings kicks it through. It's a good kick, should be a drop out. Wow, they've been so poor in regards to locking players down inside the end goal. So don't get the ball to the three through Tracy. Tracy's been good, though. Second tackle, you got the 10. Oh, I had a bit of... I did have a bit of something to say to the referee after the game, Kfish. Yeah, I did actually speak to him outside after the game. But they won't care, bro. They won't give a shit. So dogs now, William McKee. Oh, Billy, 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 Bob Billy, Billy, Bob Billy, Billy, Bob Billy, 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 Bob Billy, 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 Whatever. Really, whatever. Huh? 
<laughs> He's just throwing the ball forward like this. Tav comes on here for Hutchison. People just cheered Hutchison going off. People just cheered Hutchison going off for the dogs. <laughs> 10 minutes to go here of the game, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. That's incredible, man. Left hand side. Babin best. Taking out the 10. Sounds like those are smart people. Like, Sando, stop pretending you're not in love with Mr. Hacho. You were Hacho's biggest fan. You were Hacho's biggest fan before he was at the Dogs. Him and Matt Lodge. Mm. I will tell you guys, Matt Lodge was offside every single tackle last night that never got called. Every single tackle. Matt Lodge, wow. The how he gets away with his offsides is, is impeccable. He's got naked for he's got naked pictures of Belinda Sharp, that's for sure. Like, it's ridiculous. And they'll be taken down at the five. And it's going to change over. Dogs get the ball. Olivia Reese is truly on commentary yesterday for the Tigers and Panthers game. Was talking about fish fingers and Buffalo Bills. I've never wanted to hear. Uh, I can't see the rest of this comment because the stupid love heart. Someone else needs to comment. Oh, there we go. Oh, but here, BK and more. Triple M was talking about fish fingers and Buffalo Bills. Well, to be fair, our commentary sometimes does go down some pretty weird paths. Uh, wait for the next game. Uh, but yeah, our, our commentary sometimes we can start talking about random foods and countries and things to do and stuff like that. So, but then again, you're involved in it. The difference between Triple M and here, right, is that you actually can get involved in the chat. You can't get involved in that commentary. Like, no one cares about Buffalo, Buffalo Bills or Buffalo Bills or whatever. But the chat that I talk about, I bounce off you guys. So if you're talking about something, then I usually will reply to it, yeah? So that's the difference. No one cares about Buffalo Bills. So that Love Heart even do anything? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the Love Heart does. I don't know. Why does Dogs Coach look pissed off? I think because he knows they probably should have hit a 50 bomb in this game, but they haven't. Stephen Crichton... Crichton gives it off into Karaz. Karaz. Tap on. Oh, Crichton. Try time. Crichton, try time. I think Blake Tap probably could have scored that himself, if I'm not mistaken. But he passes the ball back to Crichton and he scores. 34 to 6 with the kick to come. Call it now. Titans' first win will be against the Knights. Hopefully, Brenton. Not. Hopefully, if first win comes against the Warriors. If not the Warriors, then the Storm. If not the Storm, then the Cowboys. And if not the Cowboys, then the. I don't know who play after that, but then the Knights is after that Magic Round. I don't want our first win to be at Magic Round, man. I don't want the first win to be at Magic Round. They were talking about eating frozen, frozen fish fingers and whether it would be healthy or not. Frozen fish fingers. That's a weird topic. Yeah, Knights won some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're winning 34-6 right now with seven minutes to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven minutes. Drew Hudson is an underrated seven. Okay. <laughs> okay, mate. You know what? You're entitled to your opinion. You are entitled to your opinion. If dogs go on the try after this within two minutes, then we can see something special. Mate, they've already hit 30. You can talk about a fitty bomb. But it's seven minutes to go, mate. They're not hitting a fitty bomb. So I'm going to have to go back to sleep. Back to sleep, mate. Off you go. And Burton will kick it. It's 36 to 6 to the Newcastle Knights here, Sumner. 36 to 6 to the Newcastle Knights. Liam Wolsack says, Sam, it is seek help, and I'm not helping. <laughs> and that's a dog fan telling you that, Sam. Liam Wolsack is a dog fan. Sumner says, okay, wake me up when Knights win. So it might be a while. Hey, you'll at least have a good sleep, Sumner. You'll at least have a good sleep. Local X says, coming to 40. Yeah, the freaking 40 is a good chance. I'm on us. Good chance. <laughs> it's like a bit nubbier. A bit nubbier. Do you know, if you time someone out on these streams, do they, um... Oh, Kaipi's ball. He got the ball at the 20. If you time someone out on this stream, Jay, does that then go into the next stream as well? Or is it just this individual stream that it times me out for? Maybe, is it channel wide or just this stream? So right hand side and Adam Elliott to Jackson Hastings. Hastings here to cross on the cross and hit a gamble. Gamble over the top. 
He's throwing that ball to the touchy. The touchy. Touch the ball, touchy. Catch the ball, touchy. Bad or worse. Test this stream, I think I'm not sure. I don't want to test it out with any regulars, you know. Um, well, don't worry. <laughs> Jay's testing it out with Sai. <laughs> he retracted the message after you dined out, Jay. I don't even know what he said. Oh, uh, now I get why he did it. I don't want to test it out with any regulars, but... Somnath, I would love you to comment early. Like, like in the first three minutes, five minutes of the next... I have to knock on dog straight away. In the next three to five minutes of the uh, Sharks Cowboys stream after this, I want you to comment. I want to see if you... Uh, let me see if I can, I can be test dummy, I guess. All right, yeah, we can try that. Try and time out for... We start again in 15 minutes at 4 o'clock. Happened twice already. Yeah, you deserved the first one. <laughs> you deserved the first one for saying, saying something gibberish. But you're all right. Do it because I do get... Do it with me because I do get timed out for no reason anyway. No, you got timed out because there was only 12 points scored for the dogs and you said 50 plus, which is a fitty bomb. You can't talk about the fitty bomb until the thrifty 30 gets hit. You can talk about the fitty bomb now. You got timed out because you spoke about the fitty bomb beforehand. Oh, that's... Well, he's been hit. Yep, that's a penalty to the Knights. Uh, Brett Nestle says, Matt, Matt Noble at the pub yesterday, the guy from Underbelly and all the promotions for footy and boxing. Yeah, he's got a good voice for him, mate. He's good for good what he does. Second time Jay was on his period. Okay, Jay, yeah. Yeah, we'll use I Miss Her as a test dummy. Test dummy. Captain's challenge. It's definitely going to be a penalty here to the Knights. Can you stop challenging and just finish the game so I can have a bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, Jay. Let's not do that, but, like, that was funny. Let's not do that, but that was funny. Use it as a test dummy for, um... <laughs> There's definitely a penalty there. Billy Ami Kigar definitely takes him out. Challenge unsuccessful, so it'll be nice ball here 10 meters out. Do, 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 do. They're not taking the two, no way. Zoe says Titans lost a close game yesterday. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I was there. Like balls like says kick out literally didn't move side side. No, that's a penalty, bro. No, it's a penalty, bro. So 10 meters out here. Braley gives it out. And Hetherington will get taken now. Five meters out of the line. First tackle. Yeah, righto. Yeah, righto, buddy. Righto, bucko. Pal. Champ. Sunny Jim. And what's another one? Right inside of the night. Safidi. Five meters out. Third tackle. Yeah, righto, buddy. Third tackle, two metres out. Off to Hastings, who's been just... He just slips over. Four tackle, eight metres out here with the Knights. Oh, Biffo! Kai Pierce Paul and Josh Curran. Slap him! I would love to see KPP give him a wake after what he did to Keanu. My boy. 69 points to Sam Hughes. Take, uh, like that. Um, Kai Pierce Paul, 56. Love that. There's always his Bulldogs 13 plus. You reckon? No way. No way. There's, today, the buyer than Tigers should be six points. We're slowly slowing away. You, you don't, you, like, at least you're winning the games that you're expected to win. Because this game, like the, again, the Knights are in a world of shambles. Um, you showed progress against the Storm. That's the one you take. I wouldn't take anything with this on the, the Tigers game. But at least you get the two points. Take the two points and run. But it won't tell you enough about the team until you start beating consistently teams like the Storm, the Sharks, the Broncos, these kind of teams, right? Panthers. But again, you still want the two points, of course. So penalties of the Knights here. Three and a half minutes to go here of the game. Be Hetherington. Five minutes out. Dogs fans, you want this. You want to see your defense, you know, withhold. Even though the Knights have no attacking options. They've got no flair. The Knights have no excitement, no flair. Biffo, Biffo, Biffo. Oh, Josh Curran's running in again, bro. Josh Curran, man. Stop running in. He's running in like and going over the top. He's deliberately missing him, though. This, this, 
This is just making the game go longer, bro. Just finish the game. It's... I don't know why Bulldogs fans are booing Hetherington as if Reid Marnie didn't deserve it for what he's doing there. They both deserve it as much as each other. Like dead set, they both deserve it as much as each other. Reid Marnie's been a grub inside, and Hetherington's been a grub by hitting, throwing his arm around afterwards as well. I love how Bulldogs fans are thinking like Reid Marnie's done nothing wrong here. He's going to go off here, Hetherington, though, I reckon. But... Uh, I reckon Hetherington probably goes here, but with that being said, Reed Marnie probably deserves to be in bit as well. I said no one. Uh, if anyone comes together in the last three minutes, they'll be in the bin. So uh, I think that's good refereeing there. Good refereeing. Good refereeing. All right, time's still off. Can we put the time back on? Red Money, can you just like control yourself so that we can finish this game off, mate? Oh, Jack Hetherington's just gone because he's still talking. Oh, yeah, Reed's going to go as well. <laughs> so Hetherington's going to go and Reed Money's going to go. Uh, I don't know. They're still going. Yeah, Reed's going to go as well. That's to see you, buddy. Don't worry. Reed Money's about to go as well, mate. So Hetherington goes off, and then Marnie should go off any second now. They're doing the same thing. There's, yeah, Reed Money's gone off as well. There he goes. Brent Essex says, how does both not get sent? No, he is. So what they do is they let the Knights play go first, so they don't punch on like we saw at Manly, you know, 10 years back, right? So they let Hetherington go off, he gets off the field, and then they send Reed Money after he's off the field so they don't come together on the field. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good refereeing. It's really good refereeing. I don't know why Reed Money would think that he could um, he could beat the Hetherington in a fight, though. Not really confused about that one. Alright, so Knights here. It's 12 on 12 for the last three minutes of the game. Well, so much for that break. <laughs> Three minutes out here for the line for the Knights. Their first tackle. Down by 30. Out the back to Crossland. He gives it to Dylan Lucas. Nice rush out there from Kikau. Dangerous, but nice rush out. All right. Lucas, Elliot, Hastings. Oh, Kai Pierce pull. Lost the ball. Damn it. I was hoping there was a try there for Supercoach. But it will be Kiraz. Gets the ball and brings it out of the five. Zero tackle. Two and a half minutes left. Don't forget, Sharks Cowboys, four o'clock. And they'll be finishing this up for the week. Tomorrow you'll get the Titans versus... Uh, Cow... No. Who did we play? Manly. Titans versus Manly vlog. And then... Tuesday tipping stream. Wednesday, not sure yet. James Salmon slapped down at the 20 and brought back. Yeah, I'm not really usually a big fan of the old refereeing, but that was that was good work there by the ref. Matt Burton kicks it across him. Adoka, he's got him, he's got him, he's lost the ball. Yeah, he's lost the ball. So it will be Knights ball here at the 40 on the Knights side of the field. On the dog side of the field. Dash, did the Knights loop their hands in the second half? Well, it's funny you say that as the dogs just knocked it on, but... Uh, Rob Moses, can the Cowboys win at Namuda Triangle? Namuda Triangle. Do you mean Bermuda Triangle? Why Why is Shark Park the Bermuda Triangle? Cowboys can win. I don't think they do, but Cowboys can win. Brent Nessling says, Knights are playing like Crapola. Mm. They're not playing well. I would like Kai Pierce Paul to score here for my super coach, though. So Knights now, 38 metres out of the line, first tackle. And he won the Pong injury. No, not really, man. But it was the same hip injury from before the game, right? So he shouldn't have played. Ponga should not have played in this game. I'm just assuming it's still the hip injury, though, because you can pretty clearly tell with it when the way he was running. And the Knights now at the 35. At 30, sorry. Jackson Hastings gives it again uh, to Kyle Pierce Paul. Pierce Paul gives it off here to Brabham Best. Brabham Best. Line break. And a try. I'll take that KPP. Tackle break. 
offload, line break assist, try assist. I'll take that for KPP, but the Knights will score a try, then make it 36 to 10. Where they get the current to be 36 to 12 any moment now. They only need to score a try every three or so seconds right now, the Knights. And they'll win 13 plus every six or so seconds. And the Knights win 112. Mmm, come back. Come back time. Last try wins. Exactly right. Last try wins, Brenton Eslick. Last try wins. 30. Why have they stopped the clock? This allows to have the dogs up because the Knights are awful. Knights are not good. They're not good, man. They're not good. I want to know if I will ever see a win. Don't go and back all the way last year. 32 seconds to go in the game. I think that should just be it, really. I don't think there should be another kick. I don't know why they stopped the clock. I don't know, but there's 29 seconds left. Oh, they're going to really force it? Are they really going to force the last 29 seconds of this game? Livy says they want you to miss out your in-between game, Pooh. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, really. Fair enough. Well, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Go check out TBC Live in the pinned comment in the chat. I should go and vote on my thing. It definitely was not over 70 points. Clause 1 and 12 did not happen. And I want to know if I'll ever see the Titans win. Doom, doom, doom. Please don't make us play the 29 seconds. We've got 20 seconds to go. He's son, we're playing it out, babe. We're playing it out. It's first tackle of the night. It's 25 out. Second tackle now, 10 seconds to go. Oh, lost the ball. That's it. It's done. It's done. We finito. 36 to 12 with Doggy Doggy Wolf Wolf. They win. Good win with them. Uh, still worth stuff to improve on, but the night shambles. Absolute shambles. Uh, but guys, I'm going to jump off. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. I'll see you in three minutes time for the Corona Shaggies. The Shaggies taking on the... Who are they taking on? The uh, the Cowboys. The Yeehaw. The absolute Yeah, yeah, son. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.